packages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. GMC Sierra Trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Money. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show. On Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Tuesday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. And, man, do we have a delicious program for you today. I'm going to serve that with some nice fried potatoes. Mm. I'm going to get you a nice little sauce out there. It's going to be wonderful. And here's what we have for you. We'll get you caught up on what's happening out there with Woke News. We'll do that at 3.20. 4 o'clock, it's What'd You Do That's New? And this is going to be the fun part of the day. Sabrina will be in with her speech jammer. Oh. We will uh, we will recite a dialogue famous from a movie through the speech jammer. Plus, I'll have something <laughs> for you guys for next week. 5 o'clock hour, it's only money with our buddy Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth. We have t- uh, trivia, tickets to see Lewis Black at Hard Rock Live. We'll end it up with You Heard It Here First. Your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim. To my left, my lovely and very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. Straight ahead, producer Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Find us easily on social, Instagram and Facebook at The Jim Colbert Show. On Twitter, it's just at Jim Colbert Show. And of course, you can watch us live on there just by going Going to jimcolbertshow.com, clicking right through, or Jim, jimcolbertlive.com, oh. click right through to the YouTube channel and watch us do our thing. Ooh. Your three o'clock keyword is win, W I N. Go to realradio.fm and send that away for your shot at $1,000. And you want to do it because I got to tell you guys, <laughs> we're kind of on one. Yeah, not kind of <laughs> nothing. We are kind of on one. Last night, we had back-to-back winners in the 6 and 7 o'clock hours. Yay! What is up? That back, is how you do back it. Back-to-back winners yesterday. Um, two other stations here in our cluster also had winners. So maybe this is the time the Central Florida gets paid for My Heart Radio. Again, your 3 o'clock keyword is win. Go to realradio.fm. You'll see exactly what to do. Send that away and then stay near your phone. That is how they tell you. You've won that 1000 bucks. Congratulations. To our winners from six and seven yesterday. One from not even around here. Yeah, Dublin, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? There's some luck of the Irish for you. And then Deltona, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very nice. So, guys, enjoy. Just as far away. Enjoy <laughs> your. Th- yeah, yeah, culturally it is. Uh, enjoy your money for sure. That thousand yeah. bucks will be coming your way in no time. We pay you in pennies. Good luck. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. All right, again, 407-916-1041. You guys having a good Tuesday? Anything out there exciting for you guys? Well, I did want to mention, because if you're like myself driving into town going, what the hell is it? Why is it so smoky out there? 
Oh, um, I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, it burns your eyes. Maybe it's your side of town. <laughs> no, it's. Yeah, I didn't notice it till over here. It's a 134-acre prescribed burn that's going on in Seminole County today. So they say do not call 911. Yeah, okay, please don't. Only call 911 if they say you see chimneys of smoke or columns of flames. Oh, if you don't you see any of that, then the firefighters are already there. They've got it under control. They're just trying to get all this fuel out of the way in case we do have a bad wildfire season. Yeah, I mean, the weather's going to be gay, uh, great this week, but we know yeah. it's uh, heating up going into this weekend. So it's going to be in the 90s this weekend, and I think that's when it'll set in for the remainder of the year. Earlier and earlier, getting hotter and hotter. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> earlier and earlier, getting hotter and hotter. And Call you know, me when hurricane season is 12 months right. a year. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no doubt. That'll be happening soon. We are going to talk a little bit later about the, uh, the 14 bills that uh, DeSantis signed into law. One of those... Uh, is in regard to the heat uh, things. Remember last year, I think a few states uh, kind of said no because they thought the federal regulations from OSHA were enough. They didn't want to empower local city or uh, local or city governments to be able to institute more regulation on business owners to provide even more time off or whatever. I, I have to tell you, um, as I was reading the bill, I remember them bringing it up, but I didn't know how much time and I could say, well, I could understand if an employer was recommended to give like a 10 or 15 minute break per hour for workers that were out in this brutal heat. Our good friends who do roofing, uh, who listen to the show every day, construction workers, people out there doing hard work every day. Um, how much time? Do you know what the time limit was? Do you know what no. they were required? Uh, they were going to be required to, on top of the OSHA regulations offer? It really isn't even that bad. Uh, but I guess they got blowback from businesses. Do you know what it is, Jack? I have no idea. For every two hours, how much time do you think was going to be recommended that they that would be mandatory for employees to sit down uh, after every two hours of work in what would be considered heat? That would be your farming jobs, construction jobs, roofing jobs, you know, landscapers, things of that nature, which those guys are mostly, I would assume, most landscapers out there are like private businesses, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are a few big companies that do it, but I think the majority of them are mom and pop operations. How much time? Ten minutes. I was going to say 10, so I'll go 15. It's exactly 10 minutes every two hours. So in, a, in an eight-hour— And hour, that got shut down? Well, you got to remember, it didn't get shut down per se. It got shut down to add on. In other words, OSHA already has heat advisory stuff that they, they produce federally. What the governor, governor didn't want is he didn't want cities or local counties coming in and hitting businesses with extra time like this, because that's 40 minutes a day. That's, you know, that's an eighth of your workday almost, uh, not including lunch. So with your 10-minute breaks every two hours and an eight-hour day, that's 40 minutes on top of your lunch break. So that takes, you know, it's an hour and 40 minutes, theoretically, off work in a day. Um, and uh, they didn't think that was going to be okay. Now, I, I pulled some of the numbers for, uh, for heat stroke deaths, uh, from 2010 to, I think, or 2022 or something. And it was, I mean, it was it was a good number. Uh, I say good number. It wasn't a good number, obviously, but it wasn't. I mean, how many do you think it was, Deb? Do you, do you I think it was like 530 people or something over all states for a 12-year period. Um, and I think in this state last year, there were three uh, that succumbed to heat because of work-related uh, issues, heat stroke, namely, and they were all farmers, I believe. Oh, I knew of one young man who did, and he was a landscaper in his 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I don't know if they, I, I don't think they probably add that in, but yeah, I think they want to, what he would, I wonder how people believe, feel about that, workers, if they would think that a 10 minute break every two hours would make a difference in their quote, like safety. I think, isn't that a, isn't that a thing that happens like per worker? Because not everybody's the same. I Correct. mean, some people out there can work all day long in that heat, and it doesn't bother them at all. Do and you think it's that was an arbitrary number, or do you think there is a medical reason behind that saying at a, at a certain level, you know, certain hydration is – a certain amount of hydration is need a standard break for safety? Yeah, I don't know, buddy. I, I, I have to tell you, they don't really go into how they came up with the number for 10 minutes. I, I don't know if that was just negotiated. Or, or someone just said, how long do you – how long is your smoke break, bro? <laughs> Yeah, you know, the, the 10? Thing, let's put in ten. My thing is like if I if you went out there to construction workers right now, if you told them, hey, every ten every two hours you can sit down for ten minutes, if they really thought that would make a difference in their overall health for the day, they may say yes just because they want to sit down for ten minutes. But do they really think that's going to help them? Like in other words, they're not denied water or 
you know, all day. It's not like they go, okay, you can only get the water in this 10 minutes. You have access to that water bucket, that, that, that yellow bucket you see on the back of construction trucks all day long. I, I think the bigger issue is, it's, it's, again, it's taking the power away from local governments to decide what's best for their constituents. Because the heat in Tallahassee may be vastly different than what it is in South Florida. Sure. So the protections you may have for someone who's working in those fields in Homestead is going to be real different than what they're going to be working maybe in Palatka. And you're 100% right because that's exactly what the governor said. It was Miami-Dade County that really raised the most stink about this uh, because the heat down there is is considerable. But it's weird, though, Deb. I have to tell you, you know, I pay, you and I are weather goons. And during the heat, like with the severe cold, I like looking around the country to see where it's the coldest. I do the same thing with the heat. And what I'm looking for is areas like anomalies. Like, is it, you know, how hot is it today in Bangor, Maine? Or how hot is it today in, you know, Santa Fe, New Mexico compared to what we're experiencing here? But when you start looking at the at the weather in Florida, there are times when Orlando will be considerably warmer than South Florida. Because in South Florida, especially when you get down there, you, I mean, you're basically a peninsula. You're sticking out there, and you have the ocean around and a constant breeze as opposed to being buried internally here in the state and having all of this concrete we have in this city radiate that heat. I'll take, I'll take downtown Orlando over a field in Homestead yeah, any day. Maybe so, yeah, yeah. Any day. Now, the humidity's got to be way worse down there, I would assume. I, I just, it, it, you can just feel the difference yeah, when you yeah. drive into South Florida. And, you know, Miami was one of the first cities in the state to have like a— uh, climate mitigation office right. to help them deal with rising sea levels you know, that are outside of king tides right, and, yeah, yeah. and the extreme heat. So uh, I just, for me, it's just, I don't know, just get out of the way of the local governments, let it, them decide. It says at warehouses, it's 15 minutes per two hours via OSHA. So I guess what they wanted, and like the governor said, he just didn't want out, outside of what was already deemed necessary from OSHA and what they consider. And I don't know that OSHA... Although federal, I don't know that every state's the same. I can't imagine OSHA going, it's the same in North Dakota as it is in Texas or Arizona. Right. There's no way possible. So what they basically are saying is OSHA went over this. They set the standard for what the breaks should be. They don't want any local or state governments overriding that and adding more time off. Uh, putting a bigger, I guess, burden on the business owners that may rely on that. Yeah, it's kind of like telling Key West, yeah, you can't say what size key sh- uh, cruise ships are going to come into your ports. Right. We're going to tell you that in Tallahassee. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. We have a bunch of stuff to talk about. The greenest states in the U.S. were uh, were mentioned. I'll tell you where Florida falls in that. And you may be surprised about who the top five are. Matter of fact, I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to be pretty surprised about the top five. Uh, We also have Hawaii trying to make a certain thing their national gesture. We'll talk about that as well. We have uh, two women this Oklahoma murder thing, have you heard the story? Do you have that news by any chance? I do, I do not. The, but as soon as I saw custody battle, I went, oh, okay. Oh yeah. The God's Misfits thing. Man, it was a complete nightmare. We'll talk about foodscaping and a couple of other things as well. Plus, we have news. What's coming up, Deb? Well, we're going to talk about a fourth body is recovered at the bridge collapse site in Baltimore. Closer to home, Sun Pass and the FBI are warning Floridians about tech scams and the Library of Congress's annual National Registry selection has been announced. We'll talk about what songs are going to be archived and more coming up next during Woke News. You got it. All right. 407-916-1041. Don't forget when is your 3 o'clock keyword. W-I-N. Go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance at $1,000. Two winners yesterday, guys. Back to back. Six and seven. So the pump is prime. Go get that money. Back in a sec with Deb's News and more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio is the Monsters in the Morning. Fellas, uh, textures are blowing us up right now. We're getting more texts than we ever have. They're affirming Russ's uh, statement that fried bologna absolutely looks like boobs. Yes! I- the Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. Drivers can expect heavy traffic westbound on I-4 this afternoon just before the beach line due to a crash currently blocking the left shoulder and causing backups on the interstate. Looking at a good ride for those who plan on taking the beach line itself or the greenway this afternoon. No major delays to report for those traveling on the 408. If you run into traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. 
Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. This is the sound of turning small bets into legendary wins. Only on the Hard Rock Bet Sportsbook app. The sound of parlays. The sound of paydays. The sound of watching the game will never be the same. Hard Rock Bet has already paid out millions and millions in parlays to people across Florida. Download Hard Rock Bet now, and if your first bet doesn't win, get up to $100 back as a bonus bet. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida, must be 21 plus and physically present in Florida to play. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or in our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law from McCaughlin Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. The state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Coffin Lind. For more information, contact me at winnieudis.com or dial pound 546 on yourself. Office Orlando. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Let me tell you a story. I had a client who got injured. He only asked for the insurance company to cover his rent for three months. They said no. We ended up getting him $325,000. Just call Mo. Mo do it. Orlando's injury attorneys. Prospective client may not obtain the same or similar results. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection package which means if you lose money because of identity theft a lifelock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan help protect your information with lifelock go to lifelock.com and save up to 25 percent your first year with my name clay as your promo code without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running everything would suddenly stop hospitals factories schools and power plants they all depend on you no matter the weather emergency or time of day you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. 
Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like One Hit One. Wonders Radio, the greatest one-hit wonders of all time, ones you definitely remember, and ones that'll make you say, oh yeah, just open the free iHeartRadio app, search one-hit wonders, and listen now, commercial free, free never sounded so good. Now back to the Jim Colbert Show. That's right, Dan Stone, back to the Jim Colbert Show. Thanks for tuning in today as every day. We love it when you guys listen. A lot of choices out there. Thanks for picking us. We thank you very much. 407-916-1041. Don't forget your 3 o'clock keyword is win, W-I-N. Go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance at $1,000. I'm Jim. That's Jack. Arr. And Deb has your news. And now it's time for Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. Mm-hmm. All right, as always, Woke News is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. All right, a fourth body has been recovered at the site of the key bridge collapse in Baltimore. Uh, Unified Command says the body was found inside a vehicle at the site on Sunday with the person's name not yet released. Eight construction workers were knocked into the water during the incident last month with two rescued and four recovered so far. The two who remain missing, of course, are presumed dead. All right, lawyers for the families of several Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse victims are launching their own independent investigation into the tragedy. The attorneys represent families of two construction workers who died in the collapse and a third who survived. Attorney uh, L. Chris Stewart says a surviving construction worker has described what happened before the crash. They absolutely got zero um, warning. Um, He had no idea. He watched everybody go into the water. So, you know, he was not, they were not warned. They were actually sitting in their cars on break. Speaking at a Monday press conference, the attorneys also said the workers received no warning. Remember that May Day warning yep. that came out, but said they didn't get it, right. uh, that the cargo ship was about to strike the bridge. They also called for a thorough investigation into alleged prior issues mm-hmm. involving the vessel. And, of course, the FBI is also investigating to see if the crew sailed that ship out of port knowing that it had problems. Yeah. All right, a story that gets more and more bizarre by the day here in Central <laughs> Florida. This thing is like... This is a movie. This is a movie. A car linked to a carjacking investigation in Seminole County could also be connected to a deadly shooting in Orange County. Okay, follow me. Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima shared details yesterday on the investigation into Thursday's carjacking near Winter Springs. Lima says a 31-year-old Miami-Dade County woman was carjacked by someone in a green Acura. The woman's SUV was later found burned in Osceola County with her body inside on Friday. Lima says the Acura is tied to a deadly shooting in Taft last Wednesday, literally the day before the carjacking. The victim was the tow truck driver who towed that green Acura from an Orange County apartment complex last month for being illegally parked. The Acura has since been found. It's now in the Orange County Sheriff's Office being processed for evidence. They're hoping any kind of DNA fingerprints will let them know who these two perpetrators are because they're still out on the loose. Yep. You know what's amazing about this story? And, Jimmy, this happened a couple blocks from my house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, they didn't, the victim did not call. The husband did not call, of the victim did not call 911. No. The person behind them who had the dashboard camera, they're the ones who called 911, and they're the ones who provided the image that we've seen 
hundreds of times already on the news, but it wasn't close enough or clear enough to get the plate. But they checked a green accurate. Uh, that accurate, that year, that color, there were only three in the state yeah. of Florida, and two were out of commission. They'd been so salvaged. The, uh, they'd been salvaged. So that was the only one in the state of Florida for them to zero in on. Here's the thing. You know there's something wrong when you get carjacked in the dead of daylight, 6 o'clock in the afternoon with long rifles in the middle of traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, this she, was like a Sicario movie, dude. She yeah. had been uh, repeatedly rammed as well from right. the back, and her husband had told her not to stop anywhere, but you often don't have the, right. the, the opportunity to do that, just that. Well, another story that's tied into this is one of the stories we covered yesterday during Woke News. So an Orange County deputy is facing what his boss calls very serious criminal allegations. We brought the uh, officer, the deputy's arrest yesterday but now we found out just why sheriff john mina announced yesterday that deputy francisco estrella was arrested sunday in seminole county estrella allegedly posed as a detective under a fake name to try and get information from a seminole county detective investigating last week's carjacking near winter springs investigators believe he was trying to get information to share with the carjacking victim's husband and her brother. Wow. Turns out the two are connected through a childhood friendship with Estrella's wife. Wow. The 33-year-old had only been with the department less than two years. Wow. And now he's on unpaid administrative leave and facing anywhere from five to nine very serious, in some cases, felonies. Damn. Wow. Is that correct? Damn, man. All because he was trying to get, you, you know. You wonder why that car was so important. Like I mean, you know, the, the you know that why is that car so important? Like, wait, why would they? You know, again, you're killing a tow truck driver to just simply towed a car. Theoretically, I mean, we don't we don't know anything more than that. Well, the other thing that I found uh, really interesting that Lima had said during that press conference was that outside of the shooting of the tow truck driver, there was something like a hundred shell casings that were found at the site of right. that shooting, and not, it just wasn't the shell casings. It was that there were very uncommon and rare ten millimeter ammunition. And both Lima and Mina are saying that's not an ammunition you normally see out on the street. That ammunition was also reportedly found around the vehicle that was right. found burned in Osceola County. Right. I'd never even heard of a 10 millimeter round in my life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Never so, even heard about it. Nine millimeter, very common. Also, it's very interesting to note that she said that she was here from Hialeah visiting family, and yet police have since come out and said she doesn't have any family in this area. Doesn't this just reek of a bad drug transaction? It doesn't does. It? I mean, again, this is all speculation, mm -hmm. but it just reeks of a very no Something. country for old men kind of scenario where somebody didn't have what they said they were going to have, or somebody made a quick move and somebody got trigger happy. Then everybody had to go something like that. But you, you, you throw in law enforcement, yeah. oh, uh, you yeah. know, getting information under assumed names, yeah, that it's a murder, uh, you know, yeah. two murders now, all part of this connected to the green car. And a shocking daytime carjacking right. that you would not expect to see in, of all places, Winter Springs. Winter and, Springs. And, it, and if someone didn't have a dashboard camera like I do, yeah, exactly. uh, you wouldn't have that footage. And that's the footage that yeah. led to, to everything. Wow. It's interesting because a Miami-Dade County murder from Two years ago was just uh, was was just solved. They think, um, and it was a couple of members from you know El Chapo's Sinaloa drug cartel. No biggie. Yeah, no problem there. All right, a potential phishing scam is impacting Florida drivers. SunPass is warning users about a texting scheme that is requesting payments from customers as a way to avoid fees. The suspects are sending people a link to a fake website to try to collect personal information. So the toll agency reminds you it will never ever asked through, uh, for money through right. text messages. The FBI issued a similar warning late last week. Federal agents are asking people to check their accounts directly through the, uh, through the toll service's official website. I'm so wary of phishing schemes. Even yeah. sites like, even... Uh, interactions that I initiate, yeah. you know, I, then I'm like, wait a second, did I leave this website? Uh, uh, did I click any links outside of yeah. this? I yeah. know, I know, I wanted to do this, and I want to pay these people, but I just, you know, it's yeah, exactly. Like, I'm getting so paranoid about paying online. I, I don't do any of that anymore. I just call them and say, hey, look, can I come over and do some yard work <laughs> uh, and work this off, yeah, or you build you a door or something? I feel so sketchy I'm, spending money online or even transferring money online. I know. I, just, I was just selling some stuff. On Facebook a couple weeks ago, and somebody took a shot at me. Yeah, yeah. You know, through Venmo, trying to scam me through a Venmo thing. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. With that, no. Every time I list something on Facebook Marketplace, you, 
the ones that uh, they try and engage you in conversation, and then uh, they always try and, like, make it a little more yeah, complicated son, than it should be? Yeah, my son's going to come by on his way up to St. Augustine. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. All right. Uh, if you have to fill up at the pump, oh, prices are on the rise throughout Florida again. AAA says fuel costs went up by nine cents overnight, bringing the current average to three fifty nine per gallon. That's 12 cents more than what we were paying this time last month. And the Auto Club says the growing conflict in the Middle East is putting a strain on gas prices. Uh, you had Janet Yellen just announcing today uh, that they're going to be slapping more economic sanctions on Iran. Yeah. No details yet. And then, of course, you have uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli prime minister, uh, calling his war cabinet for the second time in 24 hours. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't Israel demand that from us? Didn't they make a demand that we put more sanctions on Iran because of this? I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I thought I, I read aware. this morning that Iran, like uh, Israel, is like demanding that we create more sanctions for Iran after not listening to anything we say regarding <laughs> yeah. uh, Gaza. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you know, yesterday, tax day, right? Woohoo. Well, a state lawmaker won't be able to avoid paying taxes on her home in Orange County. Republican State Representative Carolina Amnesty, this is someone that Scott Maxwell of the Orlando Sentinel has written of quite frequently, uh, especially about this particular case, because she wanted her Windermere home to be considered tax exempt because it was affiliated with Central Christian University, right. where she was vice president. Mm -hmm. Well, a special magistrate late last year denied her request, saying Amnesty couldn't prove the building in Keene's Point was not just a private residence. <laughs> The Orlando Sentinel. It's a gated golf community. The Orlando Sentinel Stop reports. Stop picking on me. It's a gated golf community. The uh, Orlando <laughs> Sentinel reports the county's value adjustment <laughs> board yesterday accepted the special magistrate's ruling. All right, Governor Ron DeSantis, Jimmy, I know you're going to be talking about some of the other laws that the mm -hmm. governor has recently passed, but he signed a wide-ranging uh, education bill at a yep. school in Jacksonville. Did you have this? No, go ahead, yeah. Okay, one provision. <laughs> you're going to love this. One provision limits the number of school book challenges filed by non-parents to one per district per month. DeSanta says people have been making complaints to create a narrative or get publicity. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. That has nothing to do with books being banned by people who have no... <laughs> right. no who never even read no, it or went to the school or have a kid at yeah, the school. No dogs in the fight. They, they don't live in that county. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to do with that. Other changes include shortening the process for converting failing public schools to charter schools, supporting students from military families, and this next one is a little confusing, creating a classical education certificate as an alternative for teachers. In other words, just go back to the, was it the three R's? Is that type thing? Is that what they want? They want to go back to the 50s? I, I don't know if they're looking <laughs> to maybe reduce the standards in order to get a teaching certificate since we're facing such a shortage I, in the state. I think there's a, a just a push to get all social studies out of school and make it pretty much math, science, uh, history. Uh, and I think that's basically what the, that's what I've kind of ascertained over the last two or three years hearing these arguments. It sounds like they want all social uh, or all um, civic classes out. That's what they seemingly want. Wow, I would think the civic classes would be the one things they would want back in so kids realize your three branches of government, right, what right, each right. branch does. What does well, the role of the if, Congress? If, well, if you want to tell them what the three branches you think they should do, I mean, I, want, I don't want my kids to learn from school what they should do. If I'm trying to control that narrative with my kids on what, what government is supposed to do, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think that's the narrative, isn't it? You want to be able to create. I mean, we've seen that with the history classes and how they've taught uh, and how they want to change um, how at the history or, of African Americans yeah, and, and limit what can be told. Right. Yeah. Rather, yeah. rather than just tell the truth that actual history. I mean, the whole idea, it's in the word history. What actually happened should mm -hmm. be taught. It's that simple. This is a cool story about schools. Yeah, but we don't want we don't want people to feel bad, yeah, okay. Jimmy, that's about a, what their ancestors uh, might have done. That's the F your feelings people, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ironically. I just want to make sure that I'm right. <laughs> There's a new way to support Volusia County Schools. The district announced yesterday it has joined Addition Financial Credit Union's School District Debit Card Program. The two are launching a co-branded debit card that will support schools in that district, Volusia County, for every transaction with that card. The credit union pledges to donate three cents to Volusia County Schools. Right. Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties are already part of the program. Addition Financial says it donated over one hundred thousand dollars through the program to those schools last year. Anywhere our schools can get money, right? Yep. 
All right. Oh, speaking of schools, one lucky school over in Brevard County got the day off today. Really? Repairs that, are underway. I was say, that's never yeah, good. I know that. It's what never do you mean good? by lucky? <laughs> well, <laughs> who shot who no. or what broke? There you what go. There, yeah. This is where we go, what broke. Repairs are underway at a Brevard County Middle School after a power outage forced the district to cancel classes today. The school system says the interruption has affected the air conditioning unit Ooh. at Johnson Middle School in Melbourne. Yep. So crews were unable to make the proper changes before students arrived this morning. But don't worry. The district says operations are expected to return to normal tomorrow. Very nice. Enjoy your unplanned Tuesday. Right, right, right. Hey, speaking of uh, Brevard County, NASA is getting ready for its next crewed launch along Florida's Space Coast next month. Boeing's new Starliner spacecraft made its way to the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station from the Kennedy Space Center earlier today. The Starliner will be placed onto the United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket. If everything goes as planned, the upcoming crewed flight test will send two astronauts to the International Space Station for an eight-day mission. NASA is targeting a launch as early as May 6th. And speaking of the International Space Station... NASA confirmed today that, yes, an object that crashed through the roof of a Naples home last month <laughs> did indeed come from the International Space Station. Whoa. <laughs> Part of a cargo pallet. They did send a note, though. The note said, <laughs> Sorry. Dear, dear homeowner, right. my bad. <laughs> Part of a cargo pallet loaded with 5,800 pounds of old batteries hit the Naples home March 8th. The pallet was expected to burn up in Earth's atmosphere after it was jettisoned in 2021, and now scientists are looking to figure out why their calculations were wrong, because out of all of those 5,800 pounds, only one cylinder survived reentry. And the guy said he was shaking. He said he could not believe how much damage was done to his home. <laughs> okay, so oh, wait, I, that's how, basically a battery? It's it's like uh, four inches long and about one and a half inches wide. It weighs one point six pounds, and yeah. it came shooting through the roof of his home and damaged the flooring <laughs> going, in his house. Going two hundred and eighty miles an hour, or whatever it, it is. Is that what's, the speed? Well, so I don't know. It, what's terminal velocity? That thing is what at eighteen thousand five hundred feet or so, and they just like push it out the door. It's like really <laughs> like cruise ships get rid of garbage, yeah. they throw it overboard. Pretty much. They just jettisoned out to space and uh, said, all right, well, this, it's going to burn, burn up. up. <laughs> oh, and, damn. And one survived. And he was so he said he was on vacation. His son told him what had happened. He came home early to see the damage done but, to his house. Could not believe something this size could do that much. But at that time, they, they, they're not thinking International Space Station. No. Uh, suddenly, something comes crashing through their roof. Ceiling damages the floor. flooring. Yeah, damage the flooring. That's how much velocity <laughs> and the speed. I this guess you're thinking, a, that you're thinking it's something that came off an aircraft, right? right? I mean, that's what I would have thought. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought something from the International Space Station would land in my house. What was the first step of trying to unravel this? Do you check flight paths? You know, how do you, and who do you complain to? How'd they make this link? That's where that's where I'm kind of wondering, how did this happen? Did it start with the sheriff's office and then move to the airport? And then they moved to maybe military installations? And then, I don't know. But in the meantime, the I homeowner. I would have just thought, ah, God's pissed. <laughs> exactly. I'll stop touching myself. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my God. In the meantime, the homeowner says he's eager to resolve the damages. Okay, Jeff. Oh, yeah. A little something for you, my friend, in oh, the what, news today. Ooh, what do you got? I got good news for you. Oh, it's like a gift. It is on. <laughs> the Olympic flame is lit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? This early? The fire was ignited early this morning in Greece at That's the humble. ancient birthplace of the Olympics. They really had like this whole, like they had mm -hmm. uh, choreographed prayers to oh, Apollo. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. it looked quite beautiful. The ceremony starts a torch relay that will culminate in Paris for the Summer Games, July 26th. Not very green. And, Jimmy, something for you. Okay. Something for you. I'm listening. Your wife's dreams are finally going to be free. <gasps> Hold up now. What? My wife's dreams. Because Blake Griffin is retiring from the NBA. Oh, God. Stay away from Orlando. Dude. He's I moving to Florida. He is. He made the announcement on social media today. Griffin was drafted first overall in 2009 by the Los Angeles Clippers. He would go on to play for the Detroit Pistons, Brooklyn Nets, Boston Celtics, and one very special Tory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He came off Remember the bench. that dream? He came off the bench in her dreams. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, my God. And did he dunk it? Oh, 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 really? I don't know. She didn't tell me too much. This is, wait, wait, wait. Time out. I'm confused. Was it Tory's dream, your wife? It was or Tory was it your dream. It was Tory's dream that she hooked up with uh, Blake Griffin. 
And you had to sit in the cuck chair? <laughs> he was the fluffer. I was the ball boy. <laughs> I had to bring him a towel. He, yeah. he worked up quite a lather. Yeah, I bet he did. He, he came out with a mop. Right. Dry the floor. Oh, right. Just like in the game. I, I like just, an old school janitor. Had to, yeah. just, had to squeegee the bedroom floor. Oh, Come just, on, Blake. Just like in an NBA You're game. You're supposed to be a pro. Between free throws. <laughs> oh, God. Oh God! What did he do at the foul line? Oh, I don't know. He has those tearaway pants, though. Get out of there. Yeah. Did it he got, dribble? It got on in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, he carried two fouls. Uh. All right, the Library of Congress's. I didn't get a rebound though. <laughs> The Library of Congress's annual National Registry selection has been announced. Oh, come yeah. on now! Come on now! My phone ring. <laughs> Jimmy, love, turn that off. I love the ABBA. I know. I love, I love the ABBA, the too. ABBA. How do you not like the ABBA? Well, the Library of Congress has announced the 25 new recordings that will be archived this year. The collection spans almost 80 years, dating back to... Give me a little bit of extra time here. Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, yeah. Lieutenant James Reese, Europe's 369th U.S. Infantry Band's song, Clarinet Marmalade. Okay. <laughs> That sounds what like the, the F. Okay. That's the, by the way, that does not taste great on toast. <laughs> <laughs> Many popular songs were included, such as Ain't No Sunshine by Dang. Bill Withers. That's a good one there. Uh, Lottie Dottie by Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. Yeah. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer oh, really? by Gene Autry. Oh. And, and where is this being inducted, Deb? Library of Congress. The U.S. Library of Congress. Yes. Mm -hmm. But ABBA. Well. Not an American... Band. Some albums are included, also included, are Arrival by ABBA, Dookie by Green Day. <laughs> Let's go. All right. And Ready to Die by Notorious B.I.G. My God, you know what? man. Credit to them. At least it, it's not all right. Yeah. You know. By the way, I've had Dookies that made me want to die. Oh. <laughs> so I understand. This year, the only non-musical recording saved was This is a Recording by Comedian Lily Tomlin. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I've met her. She's a weirdo. Is she really? Oh, yeah. She was an odd bird. She, she always more, has been. But no, not malicious or mean or anything no, like just that. weird. Just very, very unique. She has a partner she's been with for years. Oh, decades. This writing partner of her, this woman, they've been together forever. And when we would ask a question to Lily, she would look at her partner, her partner would nod, and then she would answer. It was very, it was, it was, it was very bizarre. She was kept. That's what we kept saying. I was like, she felt kept. Wow. Like one of those just like kind of avant-garde artists that you just kind of walk around and go, I point at a stage and go, do your thing over there. Right. And then come back and see me in a minute. We'll go get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's, man. That's exactly kind of what it felt like. She's like, okay. <laughs> I'll go do the uh, sitting in the big chair. What was that character she used to do on Laugh-In? Oh, uh, Sue Ann? No, Sue Ann. No. The yeah. one with the little uh, the kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the big chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our texters will so, let us know yeah. at 77031. Well, our texters also want to just kind of scold us, to letting us know that clarinet, clarinet marmalade is a real banger. Okay. So well, I'm sure it is. I just I had to get through the name of it. All right, right. <laughs> Somebody said that uh, terminal velocity at that weight and stuff would be about 118 miles per hour. So Jeez. imagine a one-pound object going 120 miles an hour into anything. It's going to be damaging. Yeah, it is. It's just it's just amazing that it came from the International Space Station. I think they should give the, the thing back to the guy. What a conversation starter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean. I'll just fix my damn roof. Right? <laughs> my flooring. And now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. The greenest states in America. I'm about to shock you back in a second. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Here's your midday weather update. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and we've got a sunshine-filled and hot afternoon ahead. The high temperature in Orlando, 87 degrees. Tonight we dip to the mid-60s, tomorrow even warmer, upper 80s. And you know what? By Thursday and Friday, we're in the 90s. In fact, by Saturday, I'm expecting a high of 94 degrees. It'll be near record heat. But the good news 
it's not going to be muggy. It'll be a dry heat, so somewhat tolerable. Good news for the Orlando Sanford Air Show over at Sanford Airport this weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. It's Car Care Month, and Summit Racing has what you need for bumper-to-bumper care. Revive the interior, exterior, underhood, and more. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends May 5th, 2024. Man, have you ever dreamed about having a brand-new bathroom? Well, dream no longer. My friends at Rebath in Mid-Florida are ready to bring those dreams to life with a brand-new, beautiful bathroom that you're going to love for many, many years. These things are built with quality. Quality and they are built with integrity, and they're built by a father and son team. Dave and Josh Denbauer have been doing it here in Orlando for 15 years or so. And, man, what they do is give you an incredible bathroom at a great price and give you plenty of choices on tubs and sinks and tile and lighting, cabinetry. They have so many options. There's no way possible you can't find something that you'll love these guys can put together for you. And on top of that, if you just mentioned you came from the Jim Colbert show, they're going to give you $800 in upgrades to apply to your bathroom, however you want. Upgrade your fixtures, upgrade your tile upgrade your shower doors whatever you want these guys can take good care of you they're awesome people and if you want to see what they do their showroom is easy to find 436 up and out a month they're right across from kobe you'll see some models set up in there those models are just to show you what the products look like when they're put together some different ideas on design because every bathroom from these guys is a custom bathroom go to the website look at what they've done in before and after pictures amazing stuff and then understand you take that add an 800 dollars bill to it for upgrades and you are going to be happy log on today Book your appointment. It's Rebath, midfla.com. It's three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. This Friday through Sunday, you get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, even thousands of engagement ring mountings. This is the spring event everyone waits for. With all new fashion jewelry and a new selection of exquisite diamonds. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest financing. Don't miss this once-a-year spring store-wide sale. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. And only at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. Doctors take Field of Greens for their own health. Here's Dr. Ryan Green to explain. We're like you, too much fast food and not enough exercise. That's why I take Field of Greens. The fruits and vegetables in Field of Greens support my heart, lungs, kidneys, and metabolism for weight loss. And Field of Greens promises your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Get 15% off with promo code radio at fieldofgreens.com. That's promo code radio at fieldofgreens.com. Product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Looking for more than just a job? If you're mechanically inclined, an auto mechanic, certified welder, machinist, or a CDL driver with a strong work ethic, Ring Power, your North and Central Florida Caterpillar dealer, is the place. Whether you're beginning a career or making a change, Ring Power has apprenticeship and pay training for qualified candidates to help become skilled technicians. Join us at our Orlando Facility Career Fair on Saturday, April 27th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information or to pre-register, visit jobfair.ringpower.com slash Orlando. Join a winning team. Join Ring Power. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotb from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair. Safe light replace. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of a girl. I'm not safe, but I'm not well. Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. 
Sponsored by AbbVie. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. If you would like to leave a talk back, you can do that. Those are the little recordings you hear before we come back on the air. Just go to uh, get your iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone to send it on down the line. Anytime you have a comment about something we're talking about, like the heat restriction thing earlier, you are welcome to comment on that and uh, send it on down the line. Again, that's get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it and use that to send it to us. Jack will put it on the air for sure. Speaking of Jack. I think he deserves special props How's today. That? How's that? Oh, How's that? Oh, oh, what? Because if you're watching us on our YouTube chat, you see the lovely background that one Mr. Jack Bradshaw chose for us today. No. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the uh, your background. It there. is my background. It's a, well, yeah, you are usually dark and gloomy. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it like myself. And right. That, that I just saw that one. That looked like a nice inviting spot with waterfall. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm whatever. That. I'm down for that world right there. Yeah, that yeah. nice. And they always put a little animal there, oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. yeah, the trees a, blowing. A book with the le with the uh, the pages gently being turned by a breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a ghost. Yeah, yeah. You can again. You can check that out. Go to YouTube or excuse me. Go to JimCorporateLive.com. Click right through to our YouTube channel. And you can see Deb's background. It's different every day. So pretty. Mine's exactly the same because I'm boring. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Boring I and Jim, branding. Deb, Jack, and uh, Deb and Jack are here as well. Okay, so the <clears throat> the cleanest, greenest states in the U.S. Uh, and what do you think? I, okay, what well, makes it clean? Uh, uh, how much they? Re- what percentage of waste they Here recycle? Go. Here's exactly what it says. Solar power, this wind power. This is a report by Wallet Hub, and it says several factors were used: air quality, environmentally friendly behaviors, energy efficiency, and greenhouse gas emissions. They used those parameters to rank all 50 states to come in at what level? Who do you think is the greenest state in our country? So I think you're throwing us a curve, but logic would. Make me guess Hawaii. Okay. What do you think, Deb? Minnesota. It's California. Really? Which is weird, and I'll tell you why. Because this is where this thing kind of gets odd. Now, well, you don't need to. We can all go, what? Right. California has some of the worst air quality in yeah. the entire country. Look at Los Angeles. Some cities you can't even, I mean, days you can't even see it. But, you don't know. But tied no. for the best water quality. <laughs> I stayed in San Diego. Tied for the best water quality in the country. The Garden State also has the most energy efficient public policies as well. Okay. So, in other words, their public policies, but, their laws lead you to be more green, and that's why they've won the greenest state. You can't call them the Garden State. New Jersey is the Jersey Garden State. is the Garden oh, State, okay. right. <laughs> California also has the fourth lowest overall energy consumption per capita. Wow. And the sixth lowest gasoline consumption. So, that's why they put California number one. Number two. Well, they do that by making it more restrictive. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, they do that, it by policy. Yeah. And the policy is yeah. what's caused this, so. Right. Yeah, number two. I Alaska. guess it works. <laughs> this one, this one, okay, this one kind of makes sense. Northeast. Vermont. Oh, Vermont. Vermont is the answer. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Now, Vermont comes in second, took top honors for the most organic farms, mm. the highest number of alternative <gasps> fuel stations, but it lags in 19th spot for alternative 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 fuel vehicles Just take it slow. Has the lowest carbon dioxide and third lowest methane emissions per capita. Here's where it gets fun. Number three. And this is this is the one that this is the only reason I pulled this entire list. Illinois. Number three, no. 
New Jersey. No, you're close, though. Oh, Delaware. It's New York City, New York, or New York State. All right. What? No, well, listen. a lot of it is. So listen to this wine. Okay. All right, here's wine. The home of the biggest city in the nation hardly seems like a good candidate, it says, for the third green estate. But much of the urban population doesn't drive. They don't drive. Right. No cars to emit carbon dioxide. New York leads the nation in green transportation. Almost half of the population take public transit, walk, carpool, or bike to and from work. Yeah, I don't know why you would want to drive in New York City. It says that puts the state at the third position for the lowest gas consumption per capita. And it gets more interesting from there. It's the single um, the single most effective strategy also is because... More people are living in apartments and condos, therefore sharing walls. Where your AC doesn't have to cool four walls, it only has to cool two walls. Yeah. So, in other words, the sun, as in, you know, like if you have a house, all four walls have to be considered. When you're in a property where only two or three, possibly, I guess, of those walls are shared with another person, it costs less to cool or heat that particular area. Interesting. It says denser living reduces transportation distances and increases urban walkability. AC has a balanced heat coming through one or two outside walls rather than four and a roof or the floor of a house. You it, don't have that in New York with a lot of that a lot of that stuff. And when I if I'm staying there for any period of time like I was there for a week a couple years ago, you are you, I don't feel, I didn't feel bad eating uh pizza eight times in no. seven days <laughs> because I did so much walking, but you walk to the subway stop and you're taking public transit right. and doing that. My sister lives in the upper west side. They have a car, but what when you find that parking spot, oh. uh, uh, you, you you search the blocks. You find that parking, and you better know how to parallel park. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you find that par- you don't want to move it. No, so it, it better be a significant reason to, to move that car because you don't want to have to find what? another. And one. And then when you're double parked in, and, yeah. and oh. you have to pay everywhere, right? I mean, yeah. it's very. I mean, unless you find it, a parking spot on the street, everything's thirty five or fifty bucks to park somewhere. It ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, rounding out the top five, we're not going to go all the rounding out the top five is Maryland and Washington State. Where do you think Florida came in? Not good. 15. 16. Actually, the other thing they give New York State quality for is their soil quality is the fourth best in the country. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, because upstate's a bunch of farming there, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. 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 And the water is good. As right. well. they, they have great water, and that's credit to the reservoirs upstate. Yeah, Florida comes in 31st. Whoa. 31st. That's right. We because of all the driving we do? <laughs> it's as, uh, as far as envir- environmental quality rank, we're 16th. As far as the eco-friendly behaviors, we come in at a paltry 40th. And then in the dead center of the pack for climate change and contributions, uh, we are 27th. So there you go, the greenest states in the U.S. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Stay tuned. This what you do that's new is going to be crazy. (laughs) I don't honestly, I don't even know what to expect from this. Yeah. All I know is Sabrina is uh, laughing inside. I know it. I can feel it. She's evil. They're right. bringing this thing called a speech jammer, which is supposed to make it very difficult for us to do what we're going to do, which is read a dialogue, a famous dialogue or scene from a movie. But for the first time, this was in six years, this is the first time I wanted to do that. So we didn't have to do it before the segment. Right. We are actually about to do it next. In the segment. Now, do we want to do we want to say who picked what before we get going? That way people kind of get an idea what we're going to be doing when we come back. No. No, you don't think so? <laughs> I, I think we should. Here For we sure. go. I, Jack is doing a dialogue from Pulp Fiction. Correct. I am doing a dialogue from A Few Good Men. And I am doing a dialogue from Silence of the Lambs. So get ready. We're and gonna... I believe Sabrina will have one to show us how it's done. Very good. nice. Yeah. Good, we'll, good, do good, good. we'll do that next for What'd You Do That's New. Stay tuned. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Traffic on I-4 remains slow this afternoon, east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Looking at a crash now blocking at least one lane southbound on the Greenway near the John Young Parkway Toll Plaza. Also looking at accident activity causing delays from an earlier crash reported at Land Street and Orange Avenue. If you see problems on the roads today, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. 
After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Man, in Central Florida, it gets hot, and it's on the way, man. 90s this weekend, and it'll just get warmer and warmer. What you have to ask yourself is, is my AC ready for another brutal Florida summer? Well, if you even believe there's a little chance of that answer being no, maybe it's not, you got to get my friends over at Mills Air over there to give you that preventive maintenance plan. Look at it like a tune-up of your AC system. They'll go through the entire thing and tell you exactly what you need to make sure that it never breaks down. You damn sure want to do this now, guys. You don't want to have this problem in July. Take care of this now. There's, their techs are awesome. They know these systems inside and out. You don't even know have to know what kind of AC you have. They can fix it. Plus, they're carrier factory authorized dealers that could get you up to $1,275 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at carriers and you can always turn to the experts at Mills Air. These guys are dying to help you out. Call them today. It's 407-277-1159. They're easy to find online. It's millsair.com. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at MillsAir.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is priceless. I'm attorney Mo DeWitt, and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of Florida. Injured on the go, just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. 
Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. Once a year in the spring, IDC does something insane, and it's happening this weekend. Three days of extra savings store-wide. They're taking up to 20% off IDC's already unbeatable prices. Plus, get zero interest financing for up to three years. A $20 million three-day sale on all rings, all earrings, all pendants, all bracelets, even designer engagement rings and designer fashion jewelry will be on sale. Wedding bands, timepieces. It's three days only. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at IDC. All four Orlando locations. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, bank, B-A-N-K, bank. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Happy Tuesday, Jim Colbert and Company. It's Concrete Mike. Jimmy, you're talking about that Lily Tomlin interview, and, man, I've been listening so long, I remember that, and uh, it makes me feel old just like you. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Good fellow, Concrete Mike. We appreciate you listening, Mike. Your 4 o'clock keyword is bank, by the way, B-A-N-K. Just go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance. At winning $1,000, guys, B-A-N-K. And let me tell you how we know this works. The new Shunky had a winner at 2 o'clock today. Had a 2 o'clock winner. And of course, just oddly enough, uh, we have a member of that show in right now. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here. Yeah. Good and loud for Sabrina, if you don't mind, guys. Sabrina is our monthly guest for What'd You Do That's New. It was just like my period. It was her her choice. Her choice for what we're doing Hello? today, which is the speech jammer dialogue. Now, you guys have done this on the new Chunky, correct? Yes, yeah, so it was many, many years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is one of my favorite party tricks. I, wanna, uh, I, wanna... I brought this to a couple of bachelorette parties um, and a couple of, hey, let's gather around a couch and medical Just get weird ourselves. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, let me ask you, why was the speech jammer app created? Was it solely like a party app kind of thing? Like you do this for fun? On, I, I would assume so. Like I remember seeing something on YouTube, I mean, years ago, before I was even on the show, so 15-something years ago. And it was a guy who brought the actual device to some sort of convention, and then it was like a real grainy recording of someone doing it, and it just sounded so funny out loud. And then okay. finally I discovered... It came in uh, app form yeah, years yeah, yeah. later. So the thing about it, it's like it it works differently on everybody. Mm-hmm. So I, I tried it with uh, my girlfriend the other day, and okay. she was able to blow through the monologue. No problem, huh? But she just sounded like this, and I was talking <laughs> like this, and it, it was a completely different. And me, um, I personally... It's clear I have a real hard time with it. Oh, really, really? <laughs> and I will show you how it works. I'm so nervous because last night I actually kind of went through this dialogue a little bit. That's I'm, cute. I, I'm doing the Colonel Jeff's dialogue from A Few Good Men. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you, you want the truth. You know, I want answers. You want the truth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can't handle the truth. I'm doing that today. And I'm, I'm a little terrified of this because I really don't know what to expect. Have you ever done, like, any sort of I've monologue done, giving, acting? Oh, I mean, I could, I could, I think I could pull this off. You know, we would do the theater Thursdays with Ross, right. and we Got would it. do our best to pull it off. I don't, I don't think I'll have a problem with the dialogue, but I don't know what's going to happen. Like, what's this thing started? On, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Fun. Now, now are you going to do it first so we can get an idea of what it sounds like? Yes, I will do it first. So, okay. um, this is a sacrifice. I wasn't planning on it, but you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to get nervous. Now, what uh, what dialogue are you doing? So, I have uh, decided to go with um, one of my favorite movies that I've never watched before in my life. 
<laughs> on the waterfront. <laughs> on the waterfront. Okay, that's a Marlon Brando joint, right? This like is, a- yeah, this is the, the taxi speech from what I understand. Right. Okay. Um, I have to be also completely honest. I've, like, Googled top ten monologues. Okay. And then I saw, you know, I'm a contender, so I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, Rocky. So I... <laughs> that is not I it. Is Rocky yeah. I'm a contender. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Turns when, out they just both fought. Right, that's when everybody thought he put stuff on his cheeks. I'm a contender. Yeah, the cotton balls yeah, or something, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, That's fun. I don't have any cotton balls, so that's I'm fine. just going to go with speech jammer. So now the headphones are on. Pretty, right? I can't hear you. These are noise canceling. Okay. All right, and... Uh, Jack, I believe you have the bed, so we're going to start. I'm pressing. I'm getting an ad. That's, uh, there we go. And I'm three, two, one. It wasn't him, Charlie. It was you. Remember that night and then a garden, you came down to my dressing room and you said, kid, this ain't your night. We're working for the press on Wilson. You remember that? This ain't your nigh in my nigh. I could have taken Wills apart. So what happens? He gets a title shot outdoors on the ballpark. And what do I get? A one park ticket to Palookaville. <laughs> you was my brother, Charlie. You should have looked out there. There there we go. I looked out for a little bit. You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I wouldn't have to take them dives for the short end money. What? You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a, been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which I am. Let's face it, it was you, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> see. Right now, right now, somebody listening to this traffic is going, hey, tune in to Real Radio. They're letting people do ketamine <laughs> on the air. They're, they're, they're in the K-hole on the air. It truly is. And once you put it on, <laughs> it's. I, I know I sounded crazy. Okay. I know I sounded absolutely badass right. crazy. Now, since this is... But it's is, the way the delay goes back into your head. But it sounds like you're a little drunk is yeah. what it sounded yeah, like. Yeah, completely you were, sober. You weren't, like, fishing, you weren't finishing words? No, or, no. Because it just repeats over and over again in your okay. head. So okay. it sounded like a deaf person uh, right? learning to speak. <laughs> I'm, I'm, now, for those of you just soon. tuning in, this is my normal voice. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. Oh, oh. Now, since this is your bit, this was your week, uh-huh. you get to choose of us, uh, which of us get to go first. Okay, um, I think that right now because the phone's in here, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Deb. Oh, oh! Yeah! she was staring at Jimmy. <laughs> All, right. All right, Deb. So, uh, what what did you choose, by the way? I chose the Silence of the Lambs. You know what you look like to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so, the greatest. That's yeah, a great dialogue. I love that speech. I love that. Okay. So you're take your headphones. Take mine off. Oh, yeah. Take it off. Hey, nice. There you go. Yeah. All right. So she's putting on yeah, the noise-canceling headphones that are connected to the app that's going to... I am ready. Reverb her voice. Dead ready. Right. Dead ready. Three, two... You know what you look like to me <laughs> with your good bag and your cheap shoes. <laughs> you look like a rube. <laughs> A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good nutrition has given you some length of bone. But you're not more than ge- one generation <laughs> from poor white trash. Are you agents, Starling? That accent you're trying so desperately to shed. <laughs> Pure West Breast Virginia. In you. <laughs> she said Breast Virginia. Mm-hmm. What was your father, dear? <laughs> was he a coal miner? Did he stink of the lamb? <laughs> oh, how quickly the boys found you. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars. <laughs> Well, you could only dream of get, getting out, <laughs> getting anywhere, getting all the way to the FBI. Yeah! <laughs> so, oh, is it hard? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. The person I do not like that look I just got. Someone texted and it's like, wait, her voice, you know, it, they expected their vo- uh, Sabrina's or Deb's voice to change. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They're, we're wearing special headphones and it repeats and reverbs our, uh, reverberates our own voice in our head. Shit. You are only hearing what we are. We're trying to read this speech. It sends you on a ride, man. But it really does. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but just hearing you guys, it's right. something makes you stop talking. And it's strange. Uh, yeah, because it is strange to listen to. Uh, now Jimmy's you feel gonna good? do it. You feel ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Jimmy is doing a, a speech from a few good men. I feel like I need a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you um You ready? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh so it doesn't start working until you push the button? Yes, yeah, correct. All you right. Ready? Yeah, here we Three, go. Two. You want answers? <laughs> I'll give you answers. You can't have the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls. And those walls have to be guarded with, with guns. You going to do it? You, you, Lieutenant Bradshaw, I have a greater responsibility than any of you can fathom. You weep for Santiago, <laughs> and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. Luxury, luxury. That Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. Ooh. And my existence, since while <laughs> grotesque <laughs> and incomprehensible to you, Saves lives. <laughs> I killed it. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Next no, challenge. No, you killed Sabrina. <laughs> like luxury, Jerry? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's way harder than you think. Yeah, oh, my God. I, I think we're out of time. Yeah. I think oh, we should just go. Oh, oh. Yeah, we got way one more. Out. That's yeah. way harder. I think we're out of time. Here's the thing. You can't tell it when it starts, and then when she pushes that button, and you say that first word, you're like, this is going to be bad. Yeah. It's like that 14th beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that 14th. You know it's going to taste okay, but the affect guys, is going to be bad. <laughs> you ready? Now we ready? Is, yeah, this is from Pulp Fiction from Jack. All right. Yeah, he says MF here a lot, so get, uh, make sure oh. you... Pulp Fiction. Here we go. The path of the righteous man <laughs> is this is set on all sides by the inequities <laughs> of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. (laughs) Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon vengeance. vengeance. Good job. <laughs> you said vengeance. I don't, yeah. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Because that thing oh, is man, hard. That, that thing is hard. That it is I, weird. I have to tell you, you know what I thought I was going to do? Here's what you think you're going to do. I'm like, I got this thing out thought, right? Yep, yep. I'm going to put these things on, and I'm just going to read this copy, and I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm, I'm just going to read I'm the copy. I'm going to Both of you screaming. I'm, I'm, it was so funny. I'm going to power through it. Yeah. It's impossible. It's impossible <laughs> not to listen to yourself do it. Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. And I was, and I had to trust you that I was not too loud because in my headset I was way too loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, same here. I mean, this was very impressive on all of your parts. My favorite, in so many different ways. My favorite text just came in. Imagine just tuning in to this. Somebody's like, "What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? They have a special group on. Got it. Is Deb drunk? Yeah. I know. Oh, man, that was so funny. Well, like thank you guys. You did something new for yeah. sure. Um, somebody also is just texting their wife. Hey, check it out. Real Radio is now. Straight 
stroke radio. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has uh, one side of their face working. Apparently. <laughs> hey, well, thanks for a great, uh, a great suggestion. Thank you for having me. Love you. Every day from 11 until 3 right here on Rural Radio with a news junkie. Thank you. You're Have a killer. Have a great day. Thank you, you as always. Kids. All right, 407-916-1041. Your 4 o'clock keyword is bank, B-A-N-K. Go to realradio.fm and send that off for your shot at $1,000. Back in a second, I'll tell you what I have for what you do that's new, and they'll have something else to talk about as well. Back in one second. What you do that's new, brought to you by Glenn K-L-A-E-S-N-A-N-L-A-W.com. Proudly sponsored since day one by Glenn Klausman. Klausmanlaw.com. Bye. Still seeing delays in the usual spots on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Looking at stop-and-go traffic southbound on the Greenway due to a crash with roadblock reported near the John Young Parkway toll plaza. No problems, however, for those who need to take the beach line or the Greenway this afternoon. If you see traffic problems, make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. It is time for you to be a hero. Tell all your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. And if you have a family member you think could benefit from Life Imaging FLA and they're free heart scan i suggest getting them over there guys this is exactly what i did for my mother and my father-in-law these guys are in their 60s i figured man this would be a good time for you to get the scan to make sure you don't have any of those little scary uh things that could be happening that you don't know about because i don't know if you know guys when it comes to heart disease 30 percent of those cases the very first symptom you get is sudden death Early detection does save lives. And remember, there are no dyes, no injections. You don't take your clothes off. This entire thing only takes a few minutes. But what you can get from it could change your life. Do not wait. Do exactly what I did. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and hundreds of Central Floridians. Get with Life Imaging FLA. Get that free heart scan right now. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value. And while you're there, be sure to ask about the cancer screening as well. And it's easy to make your appointment. Simply pick up your cell phone. Dial pound 250, say the keyword free hard scan. That is all you have to do. Pound 250, say the keyword free hard scan. They'll connect you in seconds. Make that call today. Make this the year you finally take control of your long-term health care, guys. You have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from my heart media. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. It's three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. This Friday through Sunday, get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, earrings, thousands of engagement ring mountings. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only and only at International Diamond Center. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not 
experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Monday at 620 on the Jim Colbert Show. Ray Trendley and the Colbert crew will be discussing all things law and not law on a variety of topics. From the latest legal news to the best new movies. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Safe replace. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. For all your windows and doors, go to FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. work just pretend you're on a zoom call with us your mic is off your mic is off the jim colbert show on youtube subscribe and watch hey how's it ohana oh brother jim you never hear of 110 millimeter um very similar to the 45 in size but twice the recoil if you're actually firing it yeah and the chamber pressure on the 10 millimeter is almost 38,000 PSI compared to 21,000 to uh, 45 ACP. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, big dog. Uh, somebody was texting in and said it's like a 40 cal, uh, which I did not know in millimeters. I've always just known that as a 40 caliber. I didn't know it was a 10 millimeter. I've not heard of a 10 millimeter round. Uh, everybody knows of uh, nine millimeters. There's a, in the long rifle, there's a seven millimeter, seven millimeter mag. Uh, 7.62 is, I think, what an AK shoots. Uh, so I just wasn't familiar with a 10 millimeter. That's a that's an odd round for somebody at, like just the GP to have, I guess. I don't know. 45s and 40s aren't that odd of a on that art of a weapon. Well, a lot of people texting us saying that's more of a federal agent or FBI type round. Yeah, I know that a lot of the uh, cops carry nine millimeters. It used to be 38s. I think they now carry nines. Uh, most of them, if I remember right, I don't know if anybody carries 40 calibers as a as an issued weapon. 
I don't, I don't ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you got there, buddy? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, 407 916 1041. Don't forget, bank is your four o'clock keyword, and you need to get in there, man. We are winning like crazy. Had a two o'clock winner today, and then back to back winners last night at six and seven. So mm-hmm. it is hot in Central Florida. Go get that money. Bank is your keyword. Again, just go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance at that thousand bucks. I'm Jim. There's Depp. Hello. And Jack is here as well. Yo. Okay, so it's funny that uh, his name is Brian, right? The guy who just called? The Ohana guy? Is that oh. his name? No. Or do we not know? Yeah, it's Matt. It's Matt. Okay, yeah, yeah. my apologies. I thought it was Brian for some reason. I just know him as the Ohana guy. But right, I, right, right. right. Uh, but it's Matt. Okay. Well, it's just kind of funny he called because Hawaii is in the news today. Hawaii, Hawaii lawmakers want to officially claim this hand gesture as their state um, official symbol. Oh, the pinky thumb out. What's it called? Wiggle, hang loose. No. Oh. Somebody taught us very well what this means. Oh. You know who it is. I do. Yes, you do. Do I? Yes, you do. Everybody in Orlando knows this is because of this show. Shaka. Oh. It's called the shaka. This is a shaka sign. When you oh. have the hang loose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hawaiians call that the shaka, which is basically meant like, oh. you know, good vibes. Yeah. Shaka, but not shocker. No, no not shocker. No. no, no, no. She uses her left hand for that one. <laughs> In a nod to its rich cultural heritage, Hawaii's state legislature appears to poised to designate the iconic shaka gesture as the island's official symbol, recognizing recognizing it as its birthplace. Um, and it's also known, known as hang loose or hang ten, characterized by sticking your thumb and your pinky out. Do you guys know how that came about? Well, I I mean, Z- uh, Wikipedia is saying he's uh, Shaka Zulu, was known as a former king of the Zulu yeah. kingdom. And he used to came out and he, and he did the extended the pinky <laughs> thumb and he did call me, yeah. call me. <laughs> uh, apparently, the legend goes back to a, uh, a worker at a sugar mill called Kalili. He endured a life-altering accident when his hand was caught in the factory rollers, which only left him with two fingers on his right and left hand, or his right hand, which would be the thumb and the pinky. Ow. Despite the hardship, he found new purpose as a security officer for the local train, tasked with warding off mischievous children from hitching joy rides. And with the wave of that unique hand, it signaled to the children to stop what they were doing. Oh, wow. So that's that's, cool. that, that's apparently how it was born out of necessity. It soon became a, a, a symbol of respect and understanding within the community, as if to say, hey, when I show you this, it just means chill out. You know, I mean, you just got to mind yourself because you know what you're doing isn't right. Just be cool, kind of, you know? Right. Um, and I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know of another state that has... Like a state gesture, do they? I mean, you would think New York has the bird. <laughs> right, yeah. What would Florida's state gesture look like? That would be the bird. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be the bird, but it'd have to be Double something. bird. <laughs> you would figure California would be the peace sign, right? Like, that's where the California, okay. like the, yeah, the yeah, peace yeah. movement, the, sure. the, the, you know, the, the peace love movement out of California in the 60s, the hate Ashbury and yep. San Francisco. There you go. You would figure the peace sign would be California's. Uh, Chicago's definitely the finger gun. Yeah, maybe the, <laughs> maybe the finger gun. There you go. What would be the fist? Like the black power fist. You remember that? Like, where they just held the fist up? That could be well, Chicago. Well, that, I mean, that started, it, it was the uh, Mexico, the Olympics in 1968, Mexico City. But I, I think Chicago. Would be the would be that yeah, sign, the yeah, fist yeah. You know, with the fingers pointing towards you, not the back of it. Yeah. That, that means, like, that would signify black power or a unification of the black community. Or New York. Yeah, I would think maybe yeah. a Harlem like that yeah. in the area. where. Oh, hip- yeah. Well, uh, that's where hip-hop was born, was it not? Brooklyn, Harlem? What else would go? I mean, I, I, the thing is, this is really hard, but it's just kind of interesting that Hawaii has a state gesture, and I think other states are probably going to jump on board and want to do the same well, thing. What about uh, Longhorns for Texas? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Hook'em yeah, horns. Yeah. Hook'em horns, which yeah. almost looks like the devil sign, the Aussie rock sign. Right. Which uh, is uh, actually Yiddish. Yeah, is it really? Ronnie yeah. James Dio came up with that. Yeah, the with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, or is it, Dio or is it just matter where your thumb is on that? Yeah, yeah. You know, because the, when you do that, that's a that's sign language for I love you, is it not? Oh, Jimmy, I love you too. And when you do stop, when you do the horns with the thumb out, is I love you, is it not? This is I love you. Right, that's exactly okay, right. Okay, yeah. Where's this is the devil that's, horns? That's the thing, and I think and then was, you got to put the tongue in there. Yeah. I think it was actually Tony Iommi who did this for the first time. Like rock. 
Rah! Yeah, because that was. The and game. I believe he learned it from his grandmother. Did so, he really? So what's the Longhorns for? How, how do? You, what's the difference between rock? Rock. Because then you got to say hook 'em horns. Well, could two states have the same gesture? Like, I mean, could Hawaii and Florida both have the hang loose? Although Florida's not really a hang loosey kind of state. No. What would Florida's be? It's weird because we're such a transient state and so many different cultures are here. From the bottom of the state to the top, it's it's yeah. five different states. It is. It is. <laughs> At least three. But, yeah. I don't even know what it would be. What would it be in Georgia? What would it be in, like, Minnesota? Like, that's crazy. Like, that's the only state that would have a hand gesture that would be part of their state. Like, when you Wikipedia... It tells you the motto, the flower, the bird, you know, all that stuff, the motto, and then now you have to have a hand gesture. Not everyone <laughs> gets one. Sorry. <laughs> how about Sorry, a, other states. How Hawaii's about, got it. How about a heart? Who would that one be for? That's the the state of Taylor Swift. No, I tell you what, <laughs> this makes sense. Yeah. Tell me logically, Okay. if I was going to make a heart sign, what state should that actually represent? Virginia. That's right, Jack. Because Virginia is for, for lovers. lovers. <laughs> but what about for the city of brotherly love? Well, that's a city. Right. We're looking for a state. The well, state. can't they share it? Well, I guess they could. I don't know. I don't know. What would this one be? Hey. Hey. <laughs> that's the old finger in the old. Yeah. yeah. Is that the sound you make? Would, yeah, 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 well, you were just well, out there. Well, it depends what, on where the finger is. What would New Mexico's <laughs> be? You were just there for a week. Uh, aliens coming. <laughs> Let's see. What else do they have going on uh, there? How would it the, be the Vulcan? Oh, it could be. How about the yeah. sign of injecting meth? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this plunger. You're doing a plunger. That's the sign. <laughs> Minnesota, the OK sign. OK. OK, you know. That actually isn't bad. Okay, but actually, that would have to be Oklahoma. It would make more sense oh, there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oklahoma can have the okay. Yeah, yeah okay, that's good true. One. They are the okay state. Hmm. I want a state gesture so bad now because I don't <laughs> want Hawaii to have one and only have, have one for Hawaii. How about touch the tips? Oh, stop it, Jack. What? <laughs> oh, my. Hey, in Florida, it's docking. <laughs> <laughs> for you deviants out there, you know that, that is. Oh, my God almighty. <laughs> Maybe it's touching skin tags. Oh, I got to get that stuff. Um, I'm getting that tonight on the way home. Almost got it coming in today so you could help me out, one of you guys. I'm going to pick a number out of a hat. You've known Jack for so long. I really I, I think you should go with someone <laughs> that you have two decades worth of life experience with. I wouldn't want to rob that from you guys because, you know, you, you guys know what you're dealing with. Now, Jack, wouldn't <clears throat> jerseys be the two, like, uh, now... Italians flip people off differently. Exactly, <laughs> it would be the the thing under the chin, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. that'll the, work. The, What's the, that? The fu thing, like yeah. Hey, oh, that's hey. not, yeah. No, that's that's, that's got to be Little Italy. That's Jersey right there, right? Oh, that's Jersey. That's yeah, straight yeah. up Jersey. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Just by doing it, I I'm walking of, here. I sort of, sort of fire with my tracksuit. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone said Florida would be the well. You you pointed that out. The well, shocker. Yeah, that was tough. I can do that too. The shocker. <laughs> where would where was uh where was Captain Kirk from? What state? Iowa. Was, he was from Iowa. I thought so. Well, then Iowa should do the uh the the live life and or the live no li- because live. that was Spa. Yeah, was spa. So, oh God, that's right. That's got to go yeah. to New Mexico or Vulcan. But how are you going to find out? Like what <laughs> what would you use to find out what the gesture should be? Like it, ha- it would have to be something specific to that state. Like with Wisconsin, it's going to be hard to come up with a hand gesture to represent cheese. No, but I mean, in Wisconsin, most people greet each other with just a couple of fingers anyway. Howdy ho! What do you mean, like this? Like two fingers? Like yeah, how? like you just you're driving along, you just lift your fingers. Like hey, I see you. How you doing? Maybe that's what it is, but you don't spread them apart because that's peace. That's so you peace. Just keep those two together. Unless you're in England. Oh yeah, and you turn that backwards, and it's then not- that's. F U. Not, not so peaceful at all, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, F U. Because you remember Richard Nixon had created quite the international stir when uh, he had gone on an international trip and was given the peace sign, not mm-hmm. realizing he's basically saying, F U. Right, right, right. <laughs> F U. Man, the texting service is killing it. How about you take your hand and you make like a mouth and do a and you snap like the floor like a gator like snap. Like a gator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Vegas. You do like a you're pulling the handle of a slot. <laughs> like that's like that's your you're that. Or in Vegas, you are punching in your numbers to the ATM. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's or the one. Or just pulling out your empty pockets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you have some of those boring estates out in the Midwest. Like, what would South Dakota? South Dakota would just be like, how about this? You're just waving bye to South Dakota as you leave. <laughs> yeah. 
Someone else said a couple of other ideas. What about shading your eyes from the sun could be Florida. Oh, yeah, that's not or a bad one. Or putting your hands behind your back like you're getting arrested. <laughs> Always like a Florida, perennial favorite. Like, Florida, just put them out front. Exactly. And just cuff me, man. I know it's coming. I just, stand by uh, that Hawaii should be the only one with a hand, official hand. I agree because they're the only ones that have one for so long. I disagree wholeheartedly. Well, I think we know that. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to get one for Florida. I don't know why. I, th- I When I read this thing, I said, that's not fair. Air. That's too cool. Hawaii's not that cool. Okay, Hawaii's whoa, not that whoa, cool. Whoa, 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 By the whoa, way, you whoa. Have, they have a massive water problem right now. Have you heard about that? No. Yeah, you should read about the Hawaii's water issue. They are like rationing water uh, there, like they are in Mexico City. It's a nasty scenario out there. You see how that works out? Because it takes like twenty-seven years for water to get down in the aquifer, and they're pulling it out faster than they can put it in there because of all the the massive influx of people that are moving there and living there now. You mean like what's happening here? Yeah, yeah. The, well, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Hawaii? I've never been, no. So why are you slamming it? I'm not slamming Saying it. Saying you're just, not cool. But I can't read. Um, oh, and, man. and Why it, do you do that, Jimmy? You just... I, I don't want to go to Hawaii. You serve it up on a platter to P.A. McGee over there. I have no... Have you been? No, I want to go. I yeah. want to go I so bad. no interest to go to Hawaii at all. Not yeah. even a little bit. Here's the thing. I don't want to fly for 12 hours to see a beach when I live in Florida, and I can moonwalk to a beach in five minutes. I'm not doing that. Now, look, people can say, and I know Ross did this as well. They're like, oh, yeah, I know you say that, but it's different. It, for me, it's not going to be different. I've been to the Caribbean. I've been to some beautiful beaches in my life. I can't imagine Hawaii is going to be that much better for a 12-hour flight and the cost of going there. I can't imagine it's going to be that much better. I mean, I just simply can't imagine the experience is going to be so overwhelming after spending all that money to go to a tropical paradise when we live in a GD tropical paradise. But do we? We do. We really do. There's no poi here. Yeah, there's no poi. That's fine. The spam is fine. Yeah. I don't care about the snakes. Doesn't bother me. I don't really encounter them. I don't want to have to take a ferry everywhere I go or an airplane. Not interested. Hawaii does not excite me at all. I'd go back to New Mexico first. That's crazy, right? Mexico was fun. Huh? New Mexico was fun, but I, I definitely uh, I, I want to start exploring more places like that, whether it's built around a national park and then kind of seeing the area yeah. uh, of different places that you normally wouldn't go. Yeah, jokingly, I wouldn't. I would kind of. I, if I had an opportunity, I may. If it if it fit a time schedule, but really, to be honest with you, with you, I want to see the big national parks, which I've seen none of. Yeah, you know, uh, out west and in the middle of the country, I've not seen any of those beautiful national parks like like uh, a lot of our listeners and even Ross and some other people that we know have gone mm-hmm. to. Um, to me, that's just great. I got a, a buddy from high school, and he and his wife are going around the entire U.S. in a. Uh, travel trailer pulling a jeep i think is what they're doing and they're just it's man I, I told him when i saw him last like man i'm just living vicariously through you guys it's insane they've been on the road like 2600 miles in the last month and a half or something i thought of and as i try to plan my future and think about what does retirement look like because to me i think jimmy you actually probably came closest when I was trying to think about what my retirement looks like you're like you'll keep working because this is what you do and i'm like yeah, that's the only thing that brought me comfort, <laughs> thinking about continuing to work. But uh, but I, I entertained the idea, oh, you know, doing that RV thing. Mm. And, uh, you know, the emails come. Sometimes I read them, sometimes I don't. But the initials are AARP. Yeah, and yeah. they talk about mistakes people make in retirement. And one is, like, buying an RV. Yeah, yeah. Thinking that that's where they're like, rent it, use it a couple of times, and that's it. We don't have, own it. We have some friends, I yeah. guess, or my yeah. my my. Uh, wife's family has some friends that did that, like get cashed out, bought that really nice RV, and they spent about a year and a half out there, and they started longing for a place to call home. Yeah. Yeah, and I would never make that mistake. I mean, if we were to do that, we would still have a place to come back to. Uh, but I don't know about being on the road for that long. I, I'm kind of a homebody. I like yeah. being around home. I like having a piece of property to kind of stomp around a little bit. Not a big out on the road for, for months at a time kind of guy. Plus, I've heard that you got to really be careful how you plan for that because – you know, the seasons where the, you know, the campsites get really busy yep. and you could end up driving around aimlessly looking for a place to park your RV. That happens here in Florida, the really nice ones. I mean, if you go and look at the really nice campsites in Florida, I mean, they're bur- they're booked for, you know, two or three years. Like, it's hard. There's a place called Fort DeSoto down in uh, southwest Florida, like over by Tampa, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That place is perpetually booked. A place up in St. Augustine. 
um, is another one of these beautiful kind of places, and it's got this, you know, uh, coquina bottom, and it's, you just you kind of park your RV back into the woods a little bit. So Ooh, nice. even though there's a bunch of RVs there, you can't really see everybody. It's awesome, but again, finding a place in there is luck. You get lucky, and they're charging like eighty five hundred bucks a night now to stay in these campsites. Like it's almost as you know, like back like a mm-hmm. hotel used to be. You know, right. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Your four o'clock keyword is bank. Got a few minutes left to get over and try to get that money. Had a winner today at two o'clock with a new chunky and two winners last night here on the Jim Colbert show at six and seven. We'll share that with Tom and Dan. We don't have any problem with that. Or do we? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, we're fine it's with all it. good. All right, back in a second with more of the Jim Colbert show. Real radio is real music weekends. Hey, don't come around here no weekends this weekend on real radio 104.1 from the cool today weather center cooltoday.com good afternoon i'm fox 35 storm team meteorologist brooks garner with your fox 35 central florida forecast bright sunshine today passing high clouds and warming up our high 87 degrees tomorrow 88 degrees and by thursday up to 92 in fact this weekend we could see near record heat my forecast high saturday 94 the record that day 96, and that was set way back in 1908. Can you imagine that before air conditioning? No, thanks. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Nasal Guard. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. The sounds of spring are in the air. Bees buzzing, birds singing, and sneezing. Lots and lots of sneezing. You can breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options, hardware, and more bumps up your home's curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors, plus no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Just visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, great news. Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, license number CGC1527613. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Nowadays, it seems like wherever I go, there's a vacuum emptying out my purse. I go to get gas. I go to buy groceries. I go to the coffee shop. But then the strangest thing happened. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, and all I heard was... You see, McDonald's has a deal where I can choose any two for just $2.79. I can choose from a sausage McMuffin, a sausage biscuit, a sausage burrito, hash browns, or a small hot coffee. I chose a sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled egg, pork sausage, melty cheese, green chilies, and onion. And I paired it with crispy hash browns, all for just $2.79. It's such a good deal. I'm using the money I saved to get my car clean. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side. Now, when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman. For 
Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Keep on Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. You can watch radio being made on a day at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Hey, Jimmy, did you ever read the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe that I sent years ago and share it with the crew? Uh, it's science and skepticism and critical thinking and logic. Thanks, buddy. I do have it. I have yet to read it. I a lot of things to read. I just need time. That's at least 10 years ago. He yeah, probably yeah, sent yeah, that over. Probably. <laughs> more like five. That's enough. It's fine. All right. 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here as well, unfortunately. What? So uh, did you guys hear the latest news out of Disney? This is kind of funny, and I'll tell you why. It's kind of funny, not funny, uh, because I used to do this, or this was a pretty big scam at Disney for a while. Oh, yeah. So Walt Disney World and Disneyland recently updated their policies for guests that have disabilities, right? Um, to result, uh, the tur- excuse me, the two resorts uh, announced changes to their disability access service uh, last week to keep up with the rapidly growing number of requests uh, and continue to accommodate those who do truly need it. And one of the reasons is is because you know people who have uh, you know autism and other. Uh, disabilities, whether it be physical disabilities, mental disabilities, whatever it is, cannot stand in queues for, you know, an hour, hour and 30 minutes. You're just simply incapable of doing it. Not unless you want to be around that meltdown. Right, yeah. So they have, you know, special areas uh, that are built for people who have, you know, situations like that. But for the longest time, Jack, I don't know if you ever did this or ever heard of anybody doing this, but for the longest time, it was kind of a common thing that, you know, if you had a big group and you wanted to get through the park pretty quick, that you just claimed that one person in the group had an injury of some sort of back injury. You made them wear an air cast or whatever. And once you got access to that wheelchair, <laughs> everybody in your group pretty much went yeah. with you. Yes. So you were able to wheel up front, tell the person who was working whatever the ride was that you have five people and, you know, you have a disabled guest and they would take you right to the front and you could ride all the rides pretty quickly. Had you heard about that before? Uh, Yeah, we've done it, but following because we needed to do it, it was either my nephew who uh, uh, has a brain injury and has trouble walking, so his motor skills are affected. Or it was with my mom at her age where walking was, you know, a a challenge. So I have experienced that and our group has got was able to take advantage of those entry points because we had someone in a wheelchair. But you had actual injuries and people who actually needed it. Needed it. Yeah. Yeah, It it, we we weren't faking. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought about it. The problem is is the people (laughs) who are. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed. 
but requests for DAS have tripled over the last five years. Now, how do you fight this, right? How do you fight it? Here's how Disney has fighting is fighting it. Now, they're not going to require you to prove that someone in your party is injured or has a mental disability. They're not going to they're not going to make you prove that. But if they find out that somebody in your group is not being forthright when it comes to your request for DAS and they find out you are banned for life. Not, Let's go. Not just you. <gasps> Everyone that's in your group taking advantage of the situation, banned for life. And on top of that, if you had fast passes, Disney passes, annual passes, key passes, tickets, or other park products, all of those will be forfeited immediately and no refunds will be offered. Whoa. So if you go into a group, let's say you have everybody has year passes. What are those run now for Disney? A thousand bucks, twelve hundred dollars for a year, something like that? Is that what it is for a Florida resident? I guess. I've never had one. Yes. Look, at, look it up real quick for me yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah. mind. <laughs> Find out how much a an annual pass is for a Florida resident for uh for Disney. And I, I don't know if that's an all park, Jack. Um, but do an well, all I think they definitely have Different levels, yeah, right? Do, do an all park for me just to make sure. I would. I, I mean, I know that people would probably just buy the Disney, the you know, the Magic Kingdom pass. But I would think that if you're going to spend that money, you'd probably want an all park. I don't think the difference is that great. Maybe it is. That's Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, about fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. Whoa! Yeah, last they I heard go of, from uh, uh, four thirty nine, the Disney Pixie Dust Pass, um, all the way to. Fourteen hundred forty nine dollars. All right, so fifteen hundred bucks. Now, last I heard, they're about twelve hundred, so they have gone up. So fifteen hundred dollars. Let's say your entire family goes out there, oh, yeah. and you want to rip through this thing because you only have a day or so to get through there. You're like, I know. We'll fake like somebody is hurt, and we'll get through there. Your pass, everybody in that group's pass, rejected. You'll never get in the park again, and they will not refund your money. Not worth it. This is how you know Disney has no problem selling tickets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zero problem. They're not worried about pissing anybody <laughs> off. <laughs> It says, uh, once enrolled to the DS, you can go to the attractions. Uh, you uh, can request times, go into, uh, into the rides and all that. And, you know, they should be doing this. Um, I remember doing this. We did it one time, and I think we did it once at Universal, too, if I'm being fully transparent. This was, you got to remember, guys, this was 30 years ago, like right yeah. when they opened up. Yeah. And it was just but, a mad, it was a madhouse because there were only so many rides. The rides lines were like, you know, just incomprehensible. But with some of the Universal stuff, they built the park with that in mind so the wheelchair could go through the queue. Exactly. See, that was the thing. At Disney, you couldn't. They, the, the queue was not designed for a wheelchair to go through. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, it, uh, uh, yeah, it was. It, people are just texting in saying, yeah, I'm glad they're doing that because so many people weren't actually injured or hurt, and they were taking advantage of the situation so that when – People who showed up that actually had scenarios. This person was talking about their grandma and their grandfather that they weren't able to get it or it was not as accessible as it was before because of how many people took advantage of the scenario. People take advantage of stuff like that, special perks, like what? Service dogs? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a service animal. Yeah. I need it with me. It says uh, <laughs> if the group has five, six, seven people, why don't they just let the disabled person and one other person go instead of the entire group? But, you know, the whole idea of well, going there goes to, the family experience. Yeah, exactly. The whole idea is to have the family right. experience. I mean, Disney, basically the entire image of Disney is built on, you know, bringing in the family and having a family experience. I mean, their cruise ships don't have casinos and didn't have alcohol for a while, if I remember right, only in certain sections oh, because wow. they want that family experience. They want right. dad out there sloppy on the pool deck. Sure you do. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> End of the night. I get it. All right, 407-916-1041. We do have another keyword coming up for you at the top of the hour. Next hour, Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth as well. And um, I do have a story about something called food scaping. I'll ask you what you think that is next. Ooh. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Drivers in the Orlando area can expect slow traffic on I-4 east and westbound between the Beach Line and 535 and between US-27 and the 429. Looking at delays due to an earlier crash that was reported westbound on 192 in Kissimmee at Celebration Avenue. No major delays to report at this time for those on Florida's Turnpike. If you do run into any traffic problems today in the Orlando area, just make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. 
11. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. It's time to get pre-approved so you don't miss the party this summer at your new pool home. That mortgage guy, Don, offers HELOCs, that's home equity lines of credit, and second mortgages to cash out equity without touching your first mortgage. So you can get that pool project underway or that really cool backyard that's perfect for entertaining. And it's so easy to apply now at thatmortgageguydon.com and let Don and his team send you a quote. And if you already have a quote on a refinance, purchase, or HELOC, let Don review your quote today. What that means is peace of mind right at your fingertips. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at that mortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgageguydon.com. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life. It's three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. This Friday through Sunday, you get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, even thousands of engagement ring mountings. This is the spring event everyone waits for. With all new fashion jewelry and a new selection of exquisite diamonds. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest financing. Don't miss this once-a-year spring store-wide sale. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. And only at International Diamond Center. All four or locations. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi everybody, it's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotb from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just a hundred days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrands may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrands may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press 1. N no, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I... I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what do we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. 
frankgayservices.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In office Orlando. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, Bill. B-I-L-L-S Bills. Bills. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm Good luck. Spell that again. Bills. You probably don't know this or care but we have web goals. Thank so you. go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Look at stuff, he says. Listen, Florida boy get the hell on a plane go to Denver, drive up 70, go to the Rocky Mountains go over the top and then down into Winter Park, Colorado. You'll never find another place like that. Yeah, dude. Screw Hawaii, go to Colorado. Yeah, I've been there a bunch. I've done that exact thing you just said, and you're 100% yeah. right. It's yeah. absolutely breathtaking. Colorado's on my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's absolutely breathtaking. And it's another state you can go and just drive and be happy. Uh, just because you don't see, you know, I've said when you go out west as a Floridian, um, our perspective is what's in front of us, which is usually pine trees or buildings or new home tracks, right? That's our perspective. Out west, you know, you can go up high and you can kind of see where you are on the planet. You know, get an idea of where you stand. You I'm, can't do that in it, Florida. It, it's at different elevation, really. And one of the the mem the that moment in New Mexico that caught me the most is coming down the <laughs> coming down, down the, the mountain. mountain. But came around a turn and just seeing this vista where you could see a town, desert beyond that, and then mountains and hills and and stuff. And it was just so like, you could see untold whoa. miles, just yeah. miles and miles yeah, yeah, yeah. as far as you can see. You can yeah. see. As silly as that sounds. So you know? I, I was actually wondering, like, to me, I don't know. I was, I, as I mentioned, I drove over 1,300 miles in that week on vacation in six days. Mm-hmm. And I didn't mind it at all. Even my wife as the passenger for all those miles. We, one of one of the highlights of the trip was just driving. It was just it was relaxing. And I wonder, is that just because it's new to me? And people there, it's just well, like, there's, there, like we, we feel driving down to Miami. Yeah, here. we don't see the palm trees anymore. I remember when I first moved to Florida, just driving to my job and seeing palm trees in January while I wore a T-shirt to work was just something that didn't wear off for a while. But, I mean, it's not the same now. Yeah, for me, Jack, it was the um, the expanse of no input. Like out there in New Mexico, you're driving. There's no input. There are no billboards. There's no, we could barely get any uh, any radio reception. So yeah. it was just silence and it was no input. I felt myself relaxed because my brain wasn't consuming anything. I was just simply driving down a dead straight road. I mean, so there I, are no turns. It's dead straight. I do remember billboards because th- not as frequent as we get them here because of how densely packed in we are. Mm-hmm. But the billboards and uh, there is a lot for uh, sheriffs running for election and also lawyers. There, there were two <laughs> right. prominent lawyers that were competing for your uh, right. your yeah. attention and Breaking Bad tours. A lot of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, oh, so great. Yeah. By the way, your five o'clock keyword is Bills. B I L L S. And go to realradio.fm and send that off for your chance at a thousand bucks. Had a winner today at two o'clock with a news junkie. Two last night with us here on the Jim Colbert yeah. Show. Six and seven back to backs, dog. So we're giving that money out. Go get it again. Your 5 o'clock keyword is Bills. Good luck. Uh, I am Jim Deb and Jacker here as well. All right, what do you think foodscaping is? This comes to us via the AP. So if you want to check this out, you can go to AP dot, or APnews.com. Foodscaping. What do you think foodscaping is? Is it kind of like um, prepping food for your Insta? 
It is not prepping food for your Instagram. No, I'm, I, you know, it's funny. I thought you guys might get this kind of quickly. That's a good guess. What do you think? It's been one guess, Jimmy. Holy cow. <laughs> what, what do you think foodscaping Gee, I'm is? I'm so disappointed. You didn't get it right <laughs> off the top, Deb. <laughs> I actually thought you may guess it before we went to break. <laughs> That's always a thrill. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, there goes that tease. <laughs> um, let's see. Foodscaping. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Landscaping. It's shaping your food, like creating things with your food that, they typically that, don't that, resemble. That's funny. You you actually nail. You actually have the answer, but you didn't say it. Nice. Well, someone shaping, just texted shaping. where you shave the fuzz off a peach and turn it into a nectarine. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's food shaving. It's different. <laughs> oh, oh. Now you mentioned landscaping. Yeah. So foodscaping is mixing in growing oh. vegetables with your ornamental. Um, uh, uh, shrubs and shrubs bushes. and flowers and yeah, stuff. So part of your landscaping is feeding you. 100 yeah. percent wow. so what they're saying is is in certain areas of the country where there's very we we call it fleet farming here but really it's not even fleet farming fleet farming here for people who do not understand but if you drive through like audubon park some of the hip areas of orlando some parts of winter park they'll allow it some of the city ordinances will not allow this stuff in the front because they think it lowers the property property value in very affluent neighborhoods winter park being one of those very affluent neighborhoods Audubon Park is also a relatively affluent neighborhood, but the pro- but it's hip affluent. It's like a younger affluent. It's not like, you know, established Orlando money affluent like Winter Park is. It's more of that new money coming in that doesn't need that 10,000-square-foot house. They're fine with a 1,200-square-foot house. They want to go backpacking. I think you call them hippies. Right, yeah, you can call them hippies, right? That's an antiquated name, but I think everybody kind of gets it. But with fleet farming, and you have those super small yards in areas like yeah. Audubon Park, you use your yard as your growing bed. So it's not uncommon to walk through there and see people growing their vegetables right there in their front yards as a garden. That's called fleet farming. And as I understand it, you know, neighbors will regularly sh- share parts of those beds for whatever they want to do. Like if you want to grow something but you don't have room, you can ask a neighbor can have part of that. Then you could also get vegetables from neighbors with permission and things of that nature. What they're doing here is they're doing that on a different level. What they want you to do is mix in fruits, vegetables, and edibles like herbs and things like that in with your landscaping. And the cool thing and the reason I'm telling you where this is is I'm not going to read this on the air because it's long and boring. But what they do is they actually tell you to break it up into not what you think will look right, although they do give you a lot of suggestions in the story. What they're telling you is is combine your 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 vegetable plants, your food plants, with your ornamental plants based on what kind of fertilizer they use, how much sunlight they need, and how much water they need. So, like, let's say if you are you know with a plant that doesn't need a lot of water or sunshine, you can group that with a vegetable that doesn't really need that and grow them together. And in this AP story, again, this is APnews.com. Just type in foodscaping and you'll see it'll pop up. And it'll tell you that she gives you a bunch of ideas of what will grow with other ornamentals. Like her rose bushes, she puts cherry tomatoes near them. Because it turns out the cherry tomatoes release a chemical that the aphids don't like. And it and it helps not only um, with the nutrition of the rose plants, but the rose plants help with the bugs from uh, that, that attack the tomatoes, which is the aphid, which is that tiny little that tiny little bug. And it also some of the droppings from those other plants as they as they decompose or as they drop leaves, those leaves will have certain qualities that will enrich the soil that helps that particular vegetable. So cool. There has to be an optimum, a best way of doing just about anything, right? Yes. So there has to be a best way of doing this for your particular climate, region, pH, all of that. So. You know, like you say, well, it's a rose bush, and that should be next to the cherry bush, and that should be, ne- you know, so uh, you can kind of build the optimum garden. Oh, oh, this this thing right here, buddy. I mean, it tell it says your edibles should be easily accessible for frequent uh, for frequent pest and de- uh, disease monitoring using vegetables to add color and texture, and it does. I mean, this is a it's a relatively in depth story about how you can plant things next to each other and how they support each other scientifically. Also, um, aesthetically, mm-hmm. like when you look at them, you know, obviously, if you imagine seeing rose bushes and then underneath that seeing, you know, big blossoms of, of you know, cherry tomatoes or other things of that nature, uh, like using parsley, like curly parsley. She says that you that some people, instead of lining their walkways that lead up to their house with shrubs, they'll line it with cabbage or lettuce plants. 
because when they come out and bloom, or they, they, it actually looks kind of cool walking up, and it gives you the green you're looking for. And of course, it's edible AF. Yeah, my mom has a pepper tree, and it's got oh, little really? peppers on it. Oh yeah, little red chili, uh, chili, chili peppers. Yeah. Oh man, they're green right now. Oh really? Yeah. I love those things. They're green right now. That's the best hot sauce in the world, by the way. Mm-hmm. Just a whole bunch of those in a bottle with vinegar, and just let it sit. And then about two weeks later, it will. It's good. That's the best thing in the world in collard greens. But yeah, the best thing ever. It says here, but you know, rainbow rainbow shards have bold red or yellow stems. It looks great with mixing them up with ferns and pansies and cor- uh, coral bells. It says, uh, it, and it just gives you over and over all these cool things that you can do with herbs and uh, and different vegetables. And I thought this was a really cool idea. I've never heard of foodscaping. I have heard of. Uh, fleet farming, though. Yeah, it says the carrot's lacy foliage complements marigolds, provides a feathery contrast to plants with broad-shaped leaves, and it just goes on and on about these little ideas you can use to do that in your if you're in your yard if you would like to do that. And I know a lot of people who would like to grow stuff. Hell, we've wanted to start a garden for years. Yeah, it's just time. But this yes. this particular idea, she says, if you do it correctly that a lot of these plants do work well with other plants though like the roses from what i understand they don't the aphids don't like the smell of the rose or of the of the um, aroma it puts off and they therefore they don't come around so it's a natural pesticide do you uh, do this around now i know you're going to have an experience of going into a new home so probably landscaping is going to be something you're going to have to address yes is that something you do? Well, what, landscape? Yeah, you. I, I hate it. No, I yeah. don't do landscaping. We hire people. I hire somebody to come do that. I can't stand doing it. I don't have, can I tell you something, Jack? I do not have an artistic bone in my body. Yeah. I can't sit back and look at something and picture that out. My wife could do that in her sleep in Spanish. But it, I do not have that. Well, that's the other side of it. It's There's someone to have the vision of what it should be, and there's someone else to. With a shovel. Go down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to do this. you got to remember the house we're buying does have quite a bit of property, and it's all clear. Not like the house we just moved out of had five acres, but only about an acre and a half of it was clear. The rest of it was just dense woods. This is a completely cleared, you know, 4.61 acre property that already has grow stuff on it. Like it started out as a growing house, so it has a giant pump and everything where we can irrigate. So there I'm looking, you go. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this. Breaking bad. Look, man, I got to tell you, you know, there's something very <laughs> sexy about producing your own food and your own, you know, uh, uh-huh. sustenance. There's something very cool about that. You want to put money on it, Jack? Then I'm going to do it. Oh, don't do that. No. Do not gamble against me. Okay. Bad move on your part. Because then he would do it. Just yeah, to, yeah. Do yeah. not. Do out of spite. I, I, let me give you all, let yeah. me give you all advice. Never gamble against me. I I will kill myself to win. Do not do it. You will lose. You do not have. I I will kill myself to win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just giving you a heads up. Even even a I, I, even I a bet plant you he growing won't bed. Kill himself. <laughs> Even a plant growing bed, I, I unfortunately I have that thing where I can't stand losing. It sucks. No, we just spent a segment talking about how Hawaii can't have the shaka. <laughs> this no, is not breaking news, dude. Oh, by the way, Colorado. Uh, somebody texted in earlier and said Colorado should do the Nanu Nanu thing for Mork and Mindy. Oh, oh that's a good one. That uh, is. Uh, John Bustecker texted in that Michigan already has one. It's the hand. Well, right? that's because the shape of the state. The right? shape of the state oh, is the hand. That's so the it's like the whole hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that comes from a story earlier we were talking about where Hawaii wants to adopt that shaka thing with the thumb and the pinky sticking out yeah. as their national gesture, which I thought was kind of a cool thing. I thought surfers started that. Now I know why Eddie the Shaman's been saying it all this time. <laughs> yeah. Shaka. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Our buddy Scott Brown up next from Edgewater Family Wealth. Let's get loaded. Real radio is the news junkie. What is the capital of Puerto Rico? Sealing. Puerto Rico. Uh, San Jose? Sean. That is correct, Sean? San Juan. San Juan is correct. Mix my Juan and my Jose. <laughs> You never do that. Never do that. The News Junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. Slow traffic continues on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, east and westbound by the major attractions exits and through downtown. Looking at heavy traffic due to a crash reported on Sand Lake Road near the Turnpike at President's Drive. Another crash reported on Rouse Road just east of the 408. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. 
This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood, as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700 plus locations today. Jim Colbert Show question of the day brought to you by the Home Builders Network. You find them at HBNUSA.com. For years, you heard us talking about Mike, the home builder, and his great team at the Home Builders Network. Because when it comes time to doing something around your house like Jimmy, he just says there's some things he'd rather just pay for other people to do. And why not have an expert do it? That's who you need to reach out to. Let's say you need a new roof. Maybe it's just a patch in your roof, new windows, new doors, gutters. The Home Builders Network is your one-stop shop for those items. That's where you connect with Mike, the home builder, someone local, someone you can trust, someone who's been on real radio for well over a decade. Uh, great installation, excellent service, all at a fair price. Did my roof last year and did a fantastic job. New gutters with covers as well. Go to HBNUSA.com to connect with Mike. Again, it's HBNUSA.com. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Moments like making my kids my famous meatballs mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrantz, Palbociclib. Ibrantz 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrantz and visit Ibrantz.com. Ibrantz may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrantz may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrantz, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk-free because they're backed by the state of Florida, so you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like One Hit Wonders Radio. 
the greatest one-hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And, and ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Well, Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. For all your windows and doors, go to FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. <laughs> Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Your 5 o'clock keyword is Bills, B-I-L-L-S. Go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance at $1,000. And guys, let me tell you, it's hot up in these streets. Yeah, it is. Uh, had a winter today at 2 o'clock. A winter on, at 6 and 7 yesterday. So back-to-backs yesterday. So in just two days, we've already given away 3 k that's good free money for the record. And bills is right. your five o'clock keyword. Right. We got the guy. So if you won the money, we got the guy. Hold <laughs> yeah. on to it. Hold on to it. Don't buy that good car stereo just yet. Just hold on to it for one second and just listen for a second. And just maybe, maybe you could turn that $1,000 into something a little different down the road. All right, yeah, welcome. lottery tickets, baby. <laughs> lottery <laughs> tickets. Welcome back. <laughs> you know, that is like 163rd of a Bitcoin these days. So. <laughs> Uh, welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here. Let's go. Let's do It's Only Money. Helping people passionate about planning for their future rise above investment myths to build real wealth. Isn't that really just common sense financial advice? It's both. both. Oh, okay. It's Only Money with Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth. Good and loud for our friend, Mr. Scott Brown from Yay! Edgewater Family Wealth. Yay! Thank you, thank you. Um, hey, man, before we get started, I, I don't know about you, because we don't get to talk a lot outside of the program. We're just very busy people. Sure. Um, I, I actually am very excited that that your seminars are loading up and that people from the show are showing up and trying to get this knowledge and trying to make their life better. I hope it hits you the same way, because it actually makes me feel very good inside when people take an initiative, because uh, I had that moment in my life. You know, I, I had that what the F moment in my life where I felt like it was time to kind of put myself in the gear and get some initiative going and get some information that I can use down the road. And I, it's, it really is, I mean, for you guys listening to the show who have been to the seminars, I congratulate you greatly because you've made the first step uh, to at least taking control of something that you can make better in your life. Yeah, I mean, two points to make there. First of all, yeah, it's, as I've said many times on the show, at some point you got to get pissed off, right? Yeah, right. And, and this is the first step to take an action. And, and it's just learning. I mean, people should... People are not always lifelong learners. I've said this many times. Most people establish their views on things important, money, politics, whatever it is, uh, at age 18 or 19, and then spend the rest of their lives trying to defend it. <laughs> um, I, I think, you know, think about the person you were at 18 and some of the dumb things you thought. Maybe it's time to upgrade the knowledge if you're 32 or 35 or 37 or 45 or whatever it is in coming to these events. And I tell, I say this to people all the time about the, the events, and there are many listeners that come to these events, and I some of them will say, well, is everybody going to become a client? The reality is no. M most of them are not going to become clients, at least right away, right? So my goal is to educate as many people uh, in, in, in the audience as I can. And if they go out and they take some one, two, three, half an idea and come back in five years, they might be good clients for our firm. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so that's the idea. And the other thing, I, the second thing I was going to say is that people say to me when they listen to the show, they like, is Jim really – is enthusiastic about this topic as he seems. And I'm like, no, weirdly, the dude's really into it. So, you know, I mean, I think it's a great service, uh, hopefully, that we're we're all doing here in right. that educating people as best we can to make the best moves they can. Well, the thing is, is I, I just know how it's enlightened my existence. And again, I am, you know, we say this on the air all the time. We talk about this all day. I am not a wealthy man. I am a comfortable man, but I'm not a wealthy man. I've, I've, made the, I've made the moves to put myself in a good position in the next 10 years of my life sure. so that I can do what I want in my retirement. And that was my entire goal from the beginning. And, and I think that the misconception is, is, you know, maybe you expect to take, you know, a $5,000 seed investment and turn that into $2.1 million in 10 years yeah. because of a magical investment. It doesn't work like that. It does not. It, you you got to think of it like a brisket, you know, you got to set it low and let it cook. Slow and low, baby. Let it cook a long time. Yeah. But, uh, but the reason I made that car stereo joke, yeah. it, there was a reason for that. Yeah. When I was young, I had an aunt that did well for herself that I'd only met a couple of times. Great Aunt Nita. Yeah. All right. Great Aunt Nita had done okay for herself, and when she passed away, she left the grandkids 
I think it was twelve hundred dollars a piece. Uh huh. And I got that twelve hundred dollar check, and I raced to the car stereo place, of course, to put a nine hundred dollar car stereo into an eight hundred dollar car. Uh, <laughs> I think we've all been that guy. I was. I, I wrote down the word Craco. Remember the old Craco <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Craco, and I remember getting made fun of because I bought a Craco or something. And all my friends are like, Craco, what is that? You need <laughs> Alpine, yeah. Yeah. Pioneer, yeah. 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 Kenwood, Nakamichi, yeah. Kenwood. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. I remember and, being made fun of in my youth. And you want to do that? You wanted that so bad because you. you, yeah. you put so much value in that and of course looking back I, I laugh and clown at myself for decisions like that it's the normal thing you do but the whole idea of the segment is to break those norms yes. so that you can understand you know nobody really cares about your car stereo but that thousand dollars could be 50 grand right now it, yeah and to, and to that end so that before i forget my marketing people yell at me so we do have an event on the 24th <laughs> you are, by the way you are your marketing I people. keep forgetting to say things that are they, t- they tell me are important so april 24th is the event here in orlando at the roost chris at 11 o'clock uh, and then again on the 26th in Mountain Door. Now, I will say about the Orlando event, we have Rob Kurtzrider coming out, who's a real estate expert, yep. in addition to Greg Rossler, who's, of course, our Medicare guy. Everybody knows about Greg. But uh, having Rob is a bit of a catch because he's a bit of an expert on real estate. So if you have questions like on home values, what's the real estate market doing, he's going to spend 10 or 15 minutes catching everybody up on that. And then the last thing I will remind everybody is if you can't come to the event because you're working or whatever's getting in the way, we'll always do consults. So you can sign up for a consult over the phone or directly, or in person, rather, uh, right there on our website at edgewaterfamilywealth.com. Absolutely. Let's get to it. Uh, By the way, you do have some other stuff coming up in May. We'll talk about it at the end of the segment. Yep. Um, So this is so funny because it basically goes exactly what we're talking about. The the first thing you sent over is wealthy people buy assets, poor people buy things. Yes. How assets eventually do the work for you. And this basically is exactly what we were just talking about. It is. Yeah, it's 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 interesting because we all want, and, and, and then people will say, "Well, you buy stuff." I'm not saying don't buy stuff, right? I like stuff. I have stuff. I'm not against stuff. I love stuff. Well, yeah, we love stuff. But the reality is, think about what that purchase means to you. I, I had a mentor once tell me, "What does this decision mean five minutes, five hours, five days, five months, and five years from now?" Right? And think about what that maybe that pair of shoes that you didn't really need or that new cell phone that you really didn't need means. And again, I'm not saying. You know, cut off the power, shut down the cable, and sit and stare at the wall. What I'm saying is there are decisions we make day to day that maybe we could do better with. And I wrote, I actually sat down and figured this out, and I was using, I thought, what's a stock everybody knows, like Johnson & Johnson? Sure, And this is by no means, I'm not telling you to buy Johnson & Johnson or not buy Johnson & Johnson. It's just an example. Pays about a 3% dividend. So I figured out if you put $100 a month into Johnson & Johnson for 10 years, you'd have somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 grand, assuming a 5 to 7% rate of return. But what's more important to that is you're putting $100 a month in. At the end of 10 years, Johnson & Johnson's dividend is putting $50 on top of your $100, right? So now you're getting, theoretically, if you use 401k type language, you're getting a 50% match on your $100 every time you put it in. You cut to 20 years later, you've got 30 grand. Now the number's more like one to one. You're putting in 100, the dividends paying you about 1,200 bucks a year, which is $100 a month, right? Right. You get to the end of, of 30 years, you might have 80 grand in there at the same rate of return, which is now doubling the 200 to 200 a month on top of your 100. The point being is if you buy stuff, it generally goes away or ends up in a drawer somewhere, right? Or in the garbage bin. If you buy assets, Assets that produce income, and that could include stocks, that could include bonds, that could include mutual funds, that could include real estate, yeah. whatever it is. But you must, when you're, you're not, you don't have to, because many people don't, but you should start looking for opportunities to find something that when you give it money, it will eventually give you money back. Exactly. Here's what happens in small towns like I grew up in. And again, I'm not casting any, um, I'm not judging anybody out there. So just please understand this. I I, it, I don't ever want this segment to think like we're trying to make you feel bad or I'm trying no. to make you feel bad because nope. these are all steps that I took that a lot of people took to make their lives a little bit better. Here, Here's what I used to see in my hometown a lot. Guy gets a raise. He works out at the mill. Mm-hmm. He's been working at the mill for a while, making, you know, $16, $17 an hour, right? Yeah. Comes up and he goes, man, you haven't missed a day at work. We're bumping you up. You're a supervisor now. You're making $20 an hour now, and I've got $3 more an hour to spend. And that's the key to spend, right? Right. So you get that raise. You get that extra two or $300, $400 a month. What do you do? You go out and buy a four-wheeler or a bass boat or a new, you know, lifted pickup truck or whatever because now you can, quote, afford it. Yep. Rather than maintaining the same lifestyle and taking that money that you have extra now and investing it and acting like you never got that raise, 
is a key in doing what we talk about all the time. Yeah, I think, and, and again, that four-wheeler or jacking up that truck, which you know in five years isn't going to be worth a doodly. Yeah. Um, you know, how many jacked-up trucks do you see sitting on the roadside with a wheel falling off, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's well, again, a it's a young person thing to do. I did it, too. I bought cars and jacked up my Mustang and did all that nonsense I shouldn't have done uh, when I was young, but that's how I learned, right? If you Now, if you're 40 and you're still having this conversation with yourself, <laughs> it's probably not okay. I mean, we grow as we age, hopefully. We learn lessons. We make mistakes and learn from those. It's the people who don't learn from the mistakes that end up in trouble. But, again, if you're if you're buying real estate or you're buying a rental property or you're buying something, again, when you add money to an investment, you have to say to yourself, what is this going to do for me down the road? And if it's paying a 3% dividend, in my example, like Johnson & Johnson, the math's simple. You can right. sit down and figure out – if I keep doing what I'm doing and it keeps doing what it's doing in 20, 30, 40 years, I'll be getting more back from this thing than I ever put into it. Sure, yeah. So I think it's, again, it's a matter of self It's you know, all comes back to the same thing we always talk about. It's, it's self-discipline, it's process, it's determination, and again, it's a little bit... Get angry. Hey, I'm going to fix this problem. Absolutely. Uh, here is Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth, edgewaterfamilywealth.com. All this information that we talk about today you can find on his website. We'll also put it up on the goods at jimcobertlive.com, uh, which is very important because your website offers a lot of free information. Uh, by the way, do you have the video we're about to talk about up there? I, I do, yeah. We, we were talking about uh, the Scott Galloway video that I sent. I don't know how, what Jack thought of I, it. But... I loved it. I watched the whole thing this morning at like 630 and then uh, it, I also added it to our website at Jim Colbert Live. Very nice. Yeah. It's called Build Wealth or Die Trying. I've never heard of this, gentlemen, but the uh, th what you have here is uh, why what you read in the newspaper or online is almost useless. People confuse information for knowledge. Yes, yes. And we okay. have plenty of information these days, do we not? <laughs> we have tons of information. And a lot of people confuse that information <laughs> for knowledge. So what I'm saying there is a lot of times somebody will come to me and say, I read in Barron's, or I read in the Wall Street Journal, or I saw in Money Magazine, and I think I really need to jump on this and get ahead of it. So what I have to then explain to the person is that that was written by a 27-year-old journalist, and everybody and their mother has already read it, right? So if everybody, if millions of people are reading the Wall Street Journal and you see an idea about a stock, you have to also assume the other two or three million people that read that saw that information, and likely the Wall Street community knew that before it was printed. Way before the it was printed. The experts are quote-unquote professionals are probably way ahead of you. So this idea that you're going to outsmart the market, it's why we diversify, right? You diversify. Diversification is for the purpose of managing risk and, being, and making it okay to be a little bit wrong from time to time. Because if you buy one thing, if you say, I'm betting the ranch on Bitcoin, right? right? Yeah. And if Bitcoin doesn't work out, then you're screwed, right? But really had you said, screwed. I'm going to put a little in Bitcoin, but I'm also going to buy some mutual funds. I'm going to add to my 401k. I'm going to add to real estate. All these boring things nobody cares about that all work long term, right? It's okay to take a flyer. But if your whole if your whole premise, your whole retirement is based on Bitcoin going from 60 to 200, that's probably not solid ground to stand it, on. It's not, but you know what? It, it's funny you bring Bitcoin up. I know we talk about that a lot in a laughing manner, but you know, Bitcoin's dominating the news right now sure. because uh, it is it's it's doing well and it's about to split. I guess it's going to do a thing. I don't even know what it is. So you see a lot of information out there, and people who are on the edge with Bitcoin now are seeing this information, not yes. knowledge, yes. and they may make a decision with their money on something that they don't really understand completely. Yeah. I, I, again, I we could go on all day about the Bitcoin. Uh, information, if you will. Yeah, yeah. You know, I find it a fascinating and maddening conversation all at the same time. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, I've said this many times on the show. Look, I don't know what Bitcoin is. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if there are practical applications for it down the road. I, I can't speculate on that because I don't know enough about it to speculate. Yeah. As the, But the problem is your buddy who's talking about it also doesn't have enough information to speculate. It, here's enough for me when it comes to Bitcoin. Warren Buffett said he wouldn't own one piece of it. And yeah. Warren Buffett's the greatest investor that ever lived in this country that I know of. And uh, I would I would never in a million years, you know, buck what that dude said or what he saw in the market. Yeah, I'm with you on it. I wouldn't fight Warren Buffett when it came to an investment contest. But the, the reality is most people, I, I shouldn't say, let me back up. Nobody can tell you exactly what it is mm -hmm. or how it's going to turn. It's no different than anything else. Nobody knows what the stock market is going to do tomorrow. Yeah. 
Nobody knows what the bond market is going to do. Nobody knows what the Fed's going to do with interest rates. We can guess. We can speculate. Some things make sense. Some things don't. Maybe inflation is this. Unemployment's that. Yeah. And maybe they'll do this. And then they don't, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be already cut this yeah, year. Yeah, we should have cut four <laughs> times based on what most people. We've been through three recessions, according to the experts this year. So, again, you can't put too much stock in a short-term conversation. What we do know is if you invest over the long term, this goes back to probability over possibility. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin is a possibility. It's a pretty neat possibility. It's an interesting and sexy and it gets a lot of media interesting coverage. Interesting possibility, you see right? A of, see a lot of people getting super rich with it, right? Uh, not a lot of people, I, but a few people. <laughs> but, no, what the point is, is that's all they show. They don't show the people right. who are sitting there with nothing in their hands after investing it and losing. Right. It's understanding that that's a possibility, but not a high probability. What's right. a high probability is you save in your four hundred. 1K, you do it for 30 years, you earn 5, 6, 7, 8%, whatever it is, your company matches a bit of it, and literally millions of people in this country have retired with seven figures in a retirement. Oh, account. yeah, all day long. That's a high probability. That's not just a possibility, that's right. a high probability. A couple questions coming in from the texting service, Scott, that we haven't heard yet. I would like to uh, point these at you here. Yep. Is it worth discussing a, a, with a financial professor if I only have five years, or professional, with only five years until retirement. So I assume this guy's maybe 60, 61, yeah. asking, is it worth the time to go see someone like you with only five years until they retire? Well, what's the alternative? Not do, doing do it. Do nothing. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would say the answer is yes, you should do that. Yeah. I mean, the answers may not be groundbreaking. They may say, look, you're in a tough spot, but here's the things you should do right. to make that spot less tough. Right. So I would suggest absolutely you do that. And here's the other question. And I think this is the one that most people out there right now would ask themselves or tell themselves. This is this is like taking a financial gun and putting it under your chin yep. and squeezing the trigger as many times as you possibly can before you fall to the ground. I'm 40 years old. Is it too late? <laughs> Oh, it, you but, poor but, guy but or Scott, gal. Am, am I right when I say that? <laughs> yes. That people automatically think, like, I'm 40 years old. I'm way past the idea of getting in a good position financially. Oh, uh, that's I've let, insanity. I've let all that time get under the bridge on me. Man, if you believe that, yep. you have got to correct your thought process. Yep. That is that is a... I, you can't stick your head under the train track fast enough for that mentality. It's yeah. self-defeating. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, I mean, first of all, I, I just will, since we're on the Warren Buffett thing, you do know that two-thirds of the wealth that Warren Buffett has today occurred after the age of 60. Really? Is, are you aware of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the money, he, the billions, $80 billion, whatever he's worth, two-thirds of that occurred after he turned 60. Absolutely. So 40? Man, you got you got eons. eons Remember right. that the average person lives to be 84, 85 years old nowadays. You got in 20 years you can amass all kinds of wealth if you're smart about it, right? So yes, obviously we're all kind of giggling about the 40-year-old. I'm 59. So we're all giggling about the 40-year-old who's worried he can or she can't get where they're going. I promise you at 40 there's plenty of time to correct course. Even if the course is really bad, even the things you've done really bad, even if you're in debt, even if you have issues you think are largely unresolvable, I promise you they are not. Well, I'll be damned. And somebody else says, is it worth my time if I only have $500 to invest? $500 in totality? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, for the person, if it's I have $500 a year or a month or whatever it is, certainly it's not too little. If you're saying I only have $500, what I would say is you need to build up savings first. The critical part, here, here's the thing that happens to people. Sometimes they get, they listen to somebody like me and they get all excited and they're like, I'm going to invest everything, right? And so they say, you know, I've got $3,000 in my checking account. Here, have it. You, you don't want to do that. No, no, no. no. no because you, what happens is you invest three thousand dollars, the air conditioning goes out, and then you're calling the person back and saying, "Give me twenty eight hundred back." Or you're putting that on a credit card at seventeen yeah. percent. So, so you want, and again, people argue over silly things like, "Is it six months or is it three months or is it 12? Listen, I don't care. Put enough money in an account that makes you comfortable that if something bad happens, the radiator goes out, the air conditioning blows up, the roof has a problem, you can pay for those things. Uh, and maybe a little more than that, maybe a month or two or three or four of expenses in case you get hurt, you get laid off, whatever. After that, that's where it becomes investable money because if you don't have that cash available, as they say, cash is king, then you end up digging into the things you don't want to dig right, into. Right, 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 yeah. Or you get yourself in a position, never leave yourself cash poor. God will learn that lesson as well. Yeah. You think you're doing the right thing, and if you say life is always like, mm, there you are. 
Uh, you need 500 bucks. Oh, well, credit card, now you're $500 at 17%. You can't pay off. And, yeah, and people get bent. I also have clients, and this happens with clients sometimes. I will, especially if they're taking income in retirement, I, I keep a large store of cash. In the event the market doesn't do well that year, they don't have to sell securities they don't want to sell right then, right? So I have this whole model. I have an algorithm I built. I have a rule, Scott's rule, that everybody knows about cash. And But some of them fight me. They're like, well, if I have that much money in cash, it's only earning X. Where is the market's doing that? And I'm like, it's okay. Sometimes you win by not losing, right? So people who get all caught up and do is every dime in the most optimal place, that's just silliness. You're never going to have every dime in the most optimal place. What you have is buckets of money so that you can leave the long-term bucket alone. Absolutely. Scott Brown, Edgewater Family Wealth. Scott, again, we only have a few seats for the 24th and 26th left. Yeah, we have. So, but but for both, for Mount Dora at, the, at 1921 in Mount Dora on the 26th, we have a few seats left. We do. I was just told we have a few left for Orlando on the 24th. Um, and you can sign up for that at edgewater, edgewaterfamilywealth.com. And remember, this costs nothing. And matter right. of fact, on top of that, you do get lunch, and you'll have a real estate professional at one, and you'll also have a, a Medicare med- Medicare professional. Yeah. And I think the real estate professional thing is very important. You know, people are scared of real estate. You know, it's expensive, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But it also earns quite well. Part of my whole thing is investing in real estate. That's what I've done forever. You can't lose in Florida. And even if your equity doesn't go up, exponentially, like a lot of people think, you're basically just investing your money in a house and you're not spending it. You're going to get that money back and you are going to make some money on it. If you get a good place and a good spot, you could do quite well, but you just got to make sure that you pay attention to these things. It's most people's largest investment. And and, and the good news is you can't sell it when the market stinks, right? Because you got to live somewhere, right? (laughs) So people think that the stock market or that their homes are their best investment, not because they've outperformed in terms of rate of return, the stock market, but because when... The housing market drops. You still have to live there. Right. So you can't sell into a bad market. Right. You know, if you tell your – wake up your spouse and say, hey, the housing market's down. Get up. We're moving. <laughs> we're leaving. We're getting a tent. That's not going to go over real well. <laughs> Whereas not. with stocks, people tend to get out at the wrong time. Good and loud for Scott from Edgewater Family. Hey! Well- he has some books. Uh, the The book is I I, uh, I, I I even hate saying this. Yeah, you can say it. Yeah, yeah. I've never made anybody rich. That's correct. And uh, what was the other one? <laughs> we have an ebook called "I Got a Guy" that teaches you how to work with a financial advisor. So if you're out there and you're a little concerned, I don't know how to do this. There's an ebook you can download for free on our website. By the website is a uh, plethora of information. EdgewaterFamilyWealth.com. Use that as a tool to get yourself in a better position, and of course, learn about those spots. Get yourself one. It costs nothing. You'll get a free lunch and information that can change your life. We look forward to having you. Good seeing you, boss. All right, 407-916-1041. Load them up. It's time for trivia. Killer prize up next. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. As we get closer to the NFL Draft Week, one of the big questions, where will J.J. McCarthy land? Minnesota and New England have the most buzz, but the Vikings make the most sense. An offensive coach, a ready-made roster. The Patriots have a rookie defensive head coach, an abysmal roster in the cold and windy Northeast. Fingers crossed for J.J. that it's Minnesota where he lands. I'm Colin Cowley. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward, like Vanish Flyer signs and catalogs, some even same day. And now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Offer N61. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here. If you ask anyone who's had experienced LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you a couple things. Best thing I ever did. Second thing is, like, I should have done it way earlier that's exactly what my father-in-law said 58 years old is when he got his lasik surgery he should have done it when he was way younger his eyes were really bad and really kind of really the detriment for his life in his lifestyle the Filatoski eye institute is offering free lasik consultations why not find out what these guys can do for you and it could not be easier to make your appointment simply text 1041 to 868686. Start your journey to better vision with the Filatoski Eye Institute. And if you're worried about experience, do not. These guys are one of the OGs in this game in Orlando. 65,000 LASIK procedures. I'd say they've gotten it down to a science. It only takes a few minutes. And if finances are a concern, don't worry there either. 24-month interest-free financing is available. Again, for that appointment, for this free LASIK consultation, simply text 1041 to 868686. It's the Filatoski Eye Institute. Your path to better vision begins right now. 
Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post haste. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. It's three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. This Friday through Sunday, get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, earrings, thousands of engagement ring mountings. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only and only at International Diamond Center. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclip. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations, like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of a girl. I'm not safe, but I'm not well. Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la, it's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes, you know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets, more freshness, more softness, less static, less wrinkles, it's the sheet. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Want more from us? At the Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Your 5 o'clock keyword, by the way, is Bills, B-I-L-L-S. 
you do have a few minutes to get over there and try to steal that money in that five o'clock hour. And at six o'clock, we'll have another top one that it'd be ready to go. 407 916 1041. All right, welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack has the Jackie sack. All aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo choo. Look at the clack. Look at the clack. All right, check it out. In the Jackie sack today, we have. Uh, win them before you can buy them. I like being able to say that because it's pretty damn cool that you can actually get your hands on something before they're available to the general public. It's like, uh, it makes it a little extra special, right? I agree, yeah, absolutely. We're doing it all week long, and it's a pair of tickets to see Louis Black. Oh, man. The comedian uh, gained massive popularity on The Daily Show many, many years ago. He He's did. been in town before. He's going to be at the Hard Rock Live on December 7th. Tickets actually go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. But as I said before, you win them before you can buy them. That's today's prize on the Jim Colbert Show. The Jackie Sack is brought to you by... I'm so proud of you, Jack. Cento Family Moving and Storage. Go local. Support a family-owned and operated Orlando Moving and Storage Company. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show because he's going to get you a discount. Book them today at centomoving.com. That's C-E-N. T-O, moving.com. Your clickety-clack almost made me cry. Oh, Back to you. so bad. I'm sorry. Man. No, you sounded desperate. That's all right. Sad. Jack, Jack, who goes first? Uh, that would be James 1. James 1 at the bottom there. Thanks. James, how you doing, boss? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good, man. Would you like to play a little game with us? You know I would. Let's do it then. <laughs> game show. All right, James, this is a really easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of those answers is a lie, buddy. It's untrue. I'm trying to deceive you. I'm lying to you. No. I'm trying to get you to lose. So what? Okay. Right, Sorry, but you, James. But if you do yeah. find it, I have a pair of tickets for you to go see Lewis Black. Are you ready? Get him, James. Yes, sir. Here we go, buddy. It's National Orchid Day. That's oh. right. Today is National Orchid Day. Here are three fun facts about orchids and one blooming lie. Okay, it was lame. I had a busy morning. I was thinking <laughs> onion. Whatever. There we go. Number one. Talking about orchids, buddy. Number one. Orchids have the tiniest seeds in the world. Number two. Uh. It takes patience to grow orchids. The ones you buy at the store are usually already five to seven years old. What? Number three. There are more than 25,000 orchid species in existence. Or lastly. Oh my gosh. Orchids are found on every continent except Antarctica. Which of those is a lie? Man. <laughs> Let me try the first one. Uh, no, that's true, buddy. Sorry, James Wan. Uh, orchids have the tiniest seeds of any plant in the world. Really? Even yeah. taller than the, smaller than the mustard it's seed? Tiny, 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 microscopic, super small. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. That's why they're so hard to grow, by the way. Uh, Jack, who's next? Well, he was James Wan. Let's go with James 2. James 2, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you guys? Doing good, buddy. We're talking about orchids, the flower orchid. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, it takes patience to grow orchids. The ones used by at the store are usually already five to seven years old. Number two, there are more than 25,000 orchid species in existence. Or lastly, orchids are found on every continent except Antarctica. I'm going to go with the middle one. No, dude, that's correct as well. Uh, there are more than 25,000 orchid species. Actually, the new study thinks there's more of like 30,000 orchid species. There's a whole bunch of them. It used to be a game back in colonial times to go out and find species, different species of orchids. They would actually play that as almost like an Easter egg hunt. There is a big, there was a book and a movie called The Orchid Thief about yep. the black market orchid, you know, trade here in Florida. There's one that's so rare that they keep it housed in a box or they keep it housed in an area. You can see it via a cam, but they oh. will not tell you where it is because they don't want it to get destroyed. It's called a lady slipper orchid. Ah. Uh. I right, have one. That up. My oh, cat really? ate it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> that would be Michael P. Uh, Michael P. up top. Michael, how you doing? Good, buddy. How you doing, man? Doing great, man. We're talking about orchids. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, it takes patience to grow orchids. The ones you buy at the store are already usually five to seven years old. Or lastly, orchids are found on every continent except Antarctica. Um, boy, I feel like 50-50 Sean here. Um, I think, first of all, I love you, Miss Deborah. Um, I think that 
just uh, you changed the numbers a little bit on the first one. I'm going to go with the first one. Buddy, you nailed it two ways. Whoa. It is the answer, and I did change the numbers. Out of curiosity, how old do you believe an orchid is when you buy it at the store? Um, uh, seven years or eight years old. How, I don't about, know. how about 10? No It way. takes so long to grow these things that when you see an orchid in the store that has a flower on it, that plant is 10 years old. I'm going to put you on hold. You are a winner, buddy. Congratulations. Good job. Yes. Orchids are found on every continent except for Antarctica. I thought that was the line. Yeah. yeah, a couple other things you may not know about orchids before we get to the top of the hour. Vanilla is an orchid plant. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you know, vanilla, the vanilla bean. Yeah. That's part of an orchid plant. It flowers just like an orchid. When you see it, it's a flower. Might be one of my favorite smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explains why oh, they're so expensive. So good. Uh, there can be up to how many seeds in one single orchid seed pod? Uh, this is where you find out just how small they are. I'm looking at one, a thousand. Yeah. What do you think, Jack? Um, I'll just give you an example. I, she, she's way off. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I'm going to like go a thousand and one. Yeah, yeah. It's a three million. That's almost a gong, right? Three Is that million close no. seeds. No. No. <laughs> Good boy. I'll and then, for a stinky bell. And then lastly here, orchids are the second largest family of flowering plants. What do you think is first? Fruit trees? No. Roses. No. That's a great guess. Is it? Iris? Daisy will do you. Oh, Aww. daisies. Daisies are the largest family of flowering plants, and orchids are next. So well, that I, means there's more than 30,000 species of daisies because there are at least 30,000 species of orchid. I can't even believe that some of these orchid species are even real. It, monkey face orchids so, look like real monkeys. So back in the day, these things were so popular and so revered that painters would paint giant um, frescoes and giant paintings of just different species of orchids, almost like wallpaper, because they were so revered right. in colonial times and, and back in the 16th 15th, 16th, 17th century, they were like gold, man. It was crazy. Wow. And they were such a big part of the culture that uh, 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 clothing patterns, wallpaper, paintings would always have an orchid displayed because they were so beautiful and so uh, uh, prevalent. And difficult. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. I got All a right. Tommy Bahama shirt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77. 77- 031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Culver Show. We'll go over those DeSantis bills that he just signed in. Talk about some of those. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Heavy delays continue on I-4 by the major attractions exits this afternoon. Also looking at stop-and-go traffic southbound on the Greenway now due to a crash currently blocking the right lane just after the Boggy Creek Toll Plaza, causing stop-and-go delays all the way back from Boggy Creek Road. Delays continue due to an earlier crash reported westbound on Alafaya at University Boulevard. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands and grills out there, guys. Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, Napoleon. They have them all. My son-in-law just got a brand-new Weber Genesis Series, a great-looking grill. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. Make sure everybody has a nice place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. This stuff is gorgeous, indestructible, and the cool thing, this stuff will not fade in the sun. That's what makes it so awesome. Plus, these guys even have service techs specializing in grills to help you with any repair or warranty issues. You can get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware. You guys know what I'm talking about. 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including that brand new store in Hamlin. Or you can just shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. 
The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term. It's called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait till the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Divorce? Call Trinley and Kramer, TK Law, OneFirmForLife.com. It's three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. This Friday through Sunday, get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, earrings, thousands of engagement ring mountings. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only and only at International Diamond Center. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash, C-A-S-H, cash. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1.
Uh, we will have an update on what's happening in the news. We'll do that call with a segment called You Heard It Here First. we do it at the end of the show. Deb will cover some of the news stories that are happening while we're on the air. Of course, one of those stories is the jury selection for the Trump hush money trial. We'll give you an update on that, what's happening there. Uh, plus, anything else of pertinence uh, that happens while we're on the air, we'll give you an update so oh. you can have that as you're driving home. You got some goodies in there? Free choice items. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, what God. if something happens between now and then? I keep looking. Oh, boy. <laughs> I refresh it. Can we have it. four if it was warranted? Yeah, yeah. Can we have four? Sure, headlines? sure. <laughs> I'll allow it. By the way, cash is your 6 o'clock keyword, C-A-S-H. Go to realradio.fm, and you'll see exactly. We say send it away. It, basically, it'll prompt you through the entire process of making this happen. And this does work. I mean, we've had three winners in two days on this radio station alone, two from this show just yesterday. Mm -hmm. The 6 and 7 o'clock hour, we had two winners, and then the news junkie had one today at 2 o'clock. So it is on like Donkey Kong. Go get that money. Yeah. Cash is your 6 o'clock keyword. Slide over to realradio.fm. Send it off. And remember, if you're playing the game, keep your phone near and keep it turned on. That is how they tell you you've won. If you do not have your phone near you and they call and you don't pick it up, guess what happens? Oh, they move yeah. on to the next person. Here's yeah. the other thing. You don't want You're that. probably not going to recognize the number. All right? That's another thing that's really kind of weird here. It's not, hey, we're you know we're calling to give you money. It's just a number. And it you, might say no caller ID. It might. Yeah. But you got to pick it up either way. you got to roll those dice, you know, and just kind of take the chance of it being you know, that, that uncle you hate. <laughs> it could be. Who knows? All right, again, 407-916-1041. So, uh, I guess today, yesterday, Governor DeSantis signed in 14 more bills into law. We talked about one of them already today, which is the heat uh, ordinance, which basically bans local or uh, city governments to create other heat ordinances that the OSHA has already created for the state based on the information yeah. they have. I call it the no water for you bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wanted an extra 15 minutes every two hours, but I guess OSHA already has that according to a texture. Uh, that we had earlier, so we've already gone over that one. Um, what else? What are the other 13? Yeah, yeah the other 13. Well, I don't know about the 13. Florida Retirement System, which is HB 151, okay. amends the state statutes regarding the Florida Retirement System. And I guess starting later this year, retirees who have been terminated, so let's say you've retired, you got yourself a job, and you got terminated, can be reemployed by any employer that's part of the state's retirement system. And they can also receive retirement benefits and compensation from the employer through those retirees, and they may not receive a salary from the employer and retirement benefits uh, during six months. So I guess it's just an ability for retirees to find another job without getting penalized for it. And someone get Scott Brown to explain that to Exactly me. right. The HB 353 is alternative headquarters for district court judges. Okay. And brought up this one thing, um, I guess, regarding, uh, regarding where they live. Because back in the day, I guess judges had to live in the districts in which they ruled under or over. Oh, wow. And uh, now it says, um, it says, the changes allow for a district court of appeals judge to work at a courthouse in an adjacent county from where they live, provided it's in the same district. Oh, okay. In other words, now, if the district stretches over from, let's say, Lake to Seminole or, you know, or Lake to Marion or whatever, you can still be a judge in Lake County, even if you live in Seminole, if the district is mapped out the same, which I guess wasn't the way, wasn't the case before. Opens up new housing markets. Yeah, I guess if judge uh, lives in an adjacent county, the legislation could provide possible reimbursement for the judge's travel expenses between their official headquarters and the headquarters of the appellate district. Here's the one that's really good. You know, and I, and I know this governor gets a lot of S, and I've given him some as well, but this is HB 537, STEM Music Program for Middle Schools. Here's what this is going to do. It's going to provide music-based supplemental materials to support science and math classes for middle school students. It's called uh, the Music-Based Supplemental Content Accelerated Learner Engagement and Success Program. And according to the bill's text, now here's the thing. Only uh, Alachua, Marion, and Miami-Dade school districts are getting this right now because it is a pilot program, much like a pilot uh, on a, a sitcom. Mm -hmm. They play it. People like it enough. They pick it up. They make some episodes. They go forward, right? Every sitcom starts with a pilot. It's the same thing here. So uh, Alachua County is Gainesville, that area there. Marion is Ocala. Everybody knows about Miami-Dade. And basically, in addition to uh, participating school districts, are set to receive $6 per student um, to help them in, in getting kids into STEM programs with math and music. 
It's set to be evaluated up until 2026. So they're going to let it run for a couple of years to see how it works out. So and, how and, is how is the music incorporated into the STEM program? So the STEM, pro, they, in other words, they're providing them with instruments and other materials so that they can enter those programs. Um, that's exactly what it says here. It says it's aimed providing at music-based supplemental programs to support science and math classes. So maybe they have some music-based uh, tools to help teach science and math. All right. I don't know. That just, sounds good. I thought it was kind of cool because here's the thing. We know this. If you're in music, your math and science scores are usually better. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you play an instrument, you for some reason, uh, I guess maybe just the nature of how your brain is to work to play it, you're better at math and science after that. Uh, they'll evaluate that after uh, 2026 and then find out if they want to keep that program going. It takes effect on July 1st. Uh, builder warranties. This is uh, creating a, a newly constructed home uh, warranty. So if it's sold or occupied, uh, it said the law doesn't require the warranty to fo- uh, in the following situations, which is like normal wear and tear. In other words, if you get a house built, you go in there and it's a complete mess, like a lot of these new houses are. Mm-hmm. You have some recourse now is basically what they're saying here. Um, let's see what else you may enjoy here. Oh, the certified public accountants. This is House Bill 813. This about bill will allow CPAs who are at least 65 years old to apply to have their Florida CPA license retired as opposed to being placed as inactive. Oh, okay. So in other words, I guess as inactive, they can't continue to work, but as retired, they could come out of that and still provide services for people who needed them. Cool. Yeah, up to 120 hours or something. Uh, it's kind of weird. Broadband access. Let's talk. Aimed at bringing more broadband internet accesses to areas of Florida that lack it. Yes. Which is like where I am out there, where, where I was out there in that Geneva area. The It gets a little sketchy out there. Everyone deserves free porn. Yeah. It says in 2021, the Florida legislature established a promotional rate for broadband providers who use poles owned by municipal electric utilities to bring more access to underserved consumers. So I guess if we if they have a a structure or a um 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 yeah. like the the physical the physical I'm trying to the infrastructure mm-hmm. of that that they can actually run the internet out there and 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 be able to get it to people who are out in rural areas. Well, it's vitally important, especially now with remote learning. We know not as good as in-person learning, but also in the case of, well, for, I mean, it's not snow days here, but on days when school, it's an option for kids to not miss school yeah, and not have to leave the house. And that's a why reason. Yeah. they said that, the you know, uh, remote learning is the end of the classic snow day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or Hurricane Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, say, or but, a broken air conditioning day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, with Hurricane Day, itself, because, you know, typically you would think that would be it, but typically if it's a hurricane day, chances are you don't even have power. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You, uh, you got no internet. That's right, yeah. House Bill five, uh, 1555 um, is the Cyber Florida uh, law. This bill renames the Florida Center for Cybersecurity, which provides education and research to bolster the cybersecurity sector in Florida, as Cyber Florida. Let's go. So now it's going to be called <laughs> Cyber Florida. In addition to that, the bill defines the center's mission to, quote, conduct, fund, and facilitate research and applied science that leads to the creation of new technologies and software packages that have military and homeland defense purposes for sale and use in the private sector. So basically what they want to, they want access for private citizens to the same kind of technology that the military uses to protect their digital information. They want that in the private sector. Did you see 60 Minutes this past week? No, I did not. Oh, there was a whole segment on the hacking and the American groups teaming up with the Russian groups and stuff, but it's just cybersecurity, baby. It, it's scary out yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about how... With you know, the phishing scams. Let me t- listen, if the worst thing ever is having a friend like Code Black. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever having a guy who's a, a you know, in, I mean, a multi-year IT professional. This yeah. isn't a guy who went to a, you know Valencia for two years and then came out. No, but this is a guy who's been doing this since he lived in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Literally been doing this since the advent of the computer and the internet. He has been you know providing security and services for people. And man, the stuff he tells me mm-hmm. about people in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars they get scammed yeah. out of they, simply answering an email. It's horrifying. They were talking about the, the the cyber attack in Vegas where when it hit MGM, they said, we're not paying. 
and it ended up costing ultimately costing them a hundred million dollars because it shut down everything, everything. electronically, right? To Key dig cards. out of that was a hundred million dollars. But it also hit Caesars. Caesars said, Okay, we'll pay. And they paid it was fifteen million and then they, they were escaped. Done. They were done. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. cost wise it was that. But you also when you do that you feed into the problem of you're rewarding and perpetuating the crime well, because now it's worth doing. Yeah, and the yeah. last thing you want is to be a guy who pays. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's the th- last thing you want is that that whole community of cyber hacking to know that you're willing to pay ransoms because, you know, they'll hit you again and again and again. Yeah, it was a hefty price for MGM, but they didn't, you know, they said they didn't pay. And and by the way, that happens. Code Black tells me that happens. You yeah. know, the people who decide to kind of fight or kind of throw up a little bit of a fight, these people have you by the short hairs, man. Yeah. They have your information, and your system is locked, and they could encrypt it and just throw the key away. So a lot of these people want to negotiate, and he, he's kind of learned that. You know, yeah. he's kind of learned that. You know, they let's say they open up and say, hey, we want 500. You know, you go, well, I mean... You know, based on this, based on that, they can do this, they can do that, you know, and you just kind of try to figure it out. And yeah. the whole time trying to figure out who's doing it, which is virtually impossible because I guess with VPN, yeah, you can run that information through so many places that by the time you find out who it is, they're gone. It, it is like legit, like a Ocean 13 movie. A uh, review of advisory bodies. This is State Bill 276. Yeah, that would be the police review boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This changes, uh, the, uh, the changes require executive agencies with an advisory body to upload a report each year by August 15th with the following information. You know, uh, uh, responsibilities, uh, description of the purpose of the board, uh, any vacancies on the board, and all those things. So basically just making sure that those advisory boards are up to snuff. Uh, there's a lifeline program that's coming. Swimming lesson vouchers. Oh, that's cool. That's right. Swimming. That's uh, state bill four uh, um, five four four to reduce the number of child drownings in the state. The bill creates swimming lesson voucher programs. It gives low income families vouchers to enroll their kids in swimming lessons at participating vendors. That's kind of cool. And then lastly here, it's just something about local government employees. There's some cool stuff there. If you want to check that out, I got that from ClickOrlando.com. That's our friends over there at Channel 6. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Your 6 o'clock keyword is cash, C-A-S-H. Just go to realradio.fm and send that away for your chance at $1,000. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. The fine woman in your smart speaker knows what you need. Really? Don't ask how. Just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Heavy delays continue on I-4 by the major attractions exits this afternoon. Also looking at stop-and-go traffic southbound on the Greenway now due to a crash currently blocking the right lane just after the Boggy Creek Toll Plaza, causing stop-and-go delays all the way back from Boggy Creek Road. Delays continue due to an earlier crash reported westbound on Alafea at University Boulevard. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Nasal Guard. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. It's time to fall in love with your home all over again with new windows and doors from Renewal by Anderson. And Renewal by Anderson could not make the process any easier for you. First, just give them a call. Visit rbafla.com or better yet, stop by their showroom off Lee Road and Winter Park to schedule a free in-home consultation. Then they're going to meet in the comfort of your home at a time that's convenient for you. So the design consultants from Renewal by Anderson can see exactly what the vision is for your home. Lastly, sit back and relax because you've chosen a company that can handle your replacement project from start to finish. During their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors, plus no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit RBAFL LA.com for details expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installers. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, license number CGC1527613. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. 
For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-777-1979 now. 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law from McCoffman Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. In the state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Coffin Lynn. For more information, contact me at winnieujus.com or dial pound 546 on yourself. Office Orlando. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call one 855 Hi guys, Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you what I had for... Um... Uh, what'd you do that's new? We never got to that. Oh, I, oh, I thought you were going to say else. lunch. Yeah, no, I forgot no, no. to tell you what I had for lunch. All right, 407-916-1041. Don't forget your 6 o'clock keyword is cash, C-A-S-H. Go to realradio.fm and send that off for your chance at 1000 bucks. We've had three winners in two days. It is hot out there, guys. Go get that money. Cash is your 6 o'clock keyword. Good luck. Tuna uh, casserole. Uh, mm, no. That's not what you had I for lunch. To, I went to my buffet. I like it. 
I shouldn't because it kills my stomach, but I love it. A little buffet up in uh, Altamont, the Chinese place. Never been. Oh. For sushi and stuff. It the is, one right over here? Yeah, yeah. It's so good. Man, oh, man, is it good. I get that urge sometimes. Uh-oh. What, what, what thing do you crave when you eat, by the way? Like, when if you crave something and you feel like I can't not get it, uh, what is that for you? Might be an Italian sub. An Italian sub? Yep. I, I, I'm partial to the one at Jersey Mike. That's a good Number one. Number 13, Mike's Way. Yeah, they do a good job there. Pizza is always a thing. But it's got to be a certain kind of pizza. I crave oh. I crave red meat pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I crave steak pretty bad sometimes. You? Uh, Greek food, Cuban yeah, yeah. food, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indian food, Thai thing, food. Do you have a sweet that you crave? No, I've yeah. really fallen off the sweets bandwagon unless it's gummy nerds. Yeah, my wife is a is a uh, uh, is an ice cream freak, and she would be the first one to tell you that she can eat. She loves ice cream. I can't tell you the last time I've had ice cream. Really, God. it's got to be like a year or two. It, there, I have to tell you if there's any if there's anything that's going to be in my house, there are two things that will always be in my house. Coffee and ice cream. Yeah. There will always be a quart of ice cream, and there's always going to be coffee. 100%. Yeah. Outside of the way too, I think I had maybe five or six servings of ice cream cake over the past week. Outside of that, (laughs) I haven't had ice cream in a while. And I almost said I hadn't had ice cream in a while, and then I thought about that cake, and it's like, I had a lot of that cake. (laughs) Well, you should. It's your birthday cake. Well, I had a small one at home, and then the one you guys got me was a a sheet cake, and so, I mean, it fed me and Larry for a week. (laughs) I know, and that's saying something. got a question for you, because Jim... I might be known as someone who likes to save a buck or getting the most (laughs) conserving, getting the most out of the things I invest my money in, Mm -hmm. whether it's uh, whatever it is, including turkey oil. I was just about to say that. Okay. So um, when you get fryer turkey oil, basically the rule of thumb is if you filter it, you can use it three times within six months. So boom. Boom. you know, I cut down my cost per bird if I use it all three times. Sure. So I had a bird. What do you filter? It? Well, you use uh, like cheese a cheesecloth. Uh, key- okay, very yeah. good. So uh, just to get the bits and pieces out, right? Exactly. Gotcha. Yep. And if you refrigerate it, you can keep it for up to a year. But yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah, it takes a lot of space. It's a lot of oil. Mm. Yeah, it's like two and a half gallons or something like that, you, right? A little more. You are correct. Okay, though. very good. All right. So I am ready. I am. April will be six months. I have a turkey. I took it out. We're gonna. I'm gonna fry a turkey on Sunday. I typically will buy the injectable from the old Tony Chaucer's, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the butter Creole. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, that Creole butter's life. Or, oh, oh, here we go. What I am suggesting or asking uh-huh. is this something I can make myself? Can I make an injectable? I have a dozen of those needles. So I can do my own needle exchange program. <laughs> what do you think, Jimmy? Is he up to the task of making his own injectable? Yeah, that's I, actually a very interesting question. I've, I've never made one. It can't be difficult. I mean, here's the I, thing. It yeah. can't be. It's, you yeah. know, it's basically it's flavored butter yeah. that you're injecting into the meat of the mm. bird. It's a jar of liquid they sell for six bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not real butter. It's a, like a butter flavored oil kind of concoction with some water and some herbs in there. But I bet you could probably make a better one. I would like garlic and, yeah, man, that's kind of wild because garlic, you'd have to do it with garlic powder to be able to inject it through there. You can't put herbs. The herbs will stop it up. So I'm wondering if, if it's. That's that, look up injectable recipes. You know, there is a balance between, yeah, you, you want to make it, it. It can be fresh. But there's a level of work you have to invest that you're willing to invest. For a bottle that would cost me six dollars. That's the to thing buy. is like it's six <laughs> bucks. And the thing is, is you can't. I don't think you can buy it without the injector, right? I don't think you can just buy. You can't. No, you have to it, get the injector. Yeah, it's wrapped in there. Yeah, yeah, I have one of those. I bet it. Can I tell you? I bet the one I have is probably. It's probably dated out right now. It's probably past its prime. Like yeah. you know, it's got the you know. I think it's probably past the date. We've had it for years, man. I can even remember. Yeah, I'm sure there are plenty of injectable recipes out there you can do in that. I'm looking at one right now. With yeah. Worcestershire sauce and oh, honey. Yeah. I've and got honey. that. I've got that. Check. Yeah. See? What else you got? Uh, let's see. You've got uh, brown sugar, chicken bouillon, lemon juice, yes. cayenne oh, yeah. pepper. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is from Immaculate Bites. Uh, let's see. What that sounds else do great. Have? You, you, honestly, yeah, you're right. I mean, just the butter and the stock would work. You have garlic. hit every, I, everything you've mentioned I have in my pantry. 
Although what I do want to mention is every I've been frying turkeys for over 20 years now, and they're great. Now I'm messing with the recipe. Yeah, and the thing is, too, is I've heard when you inject them, you got to be careful, though, because you got to remember, it, even though it is in the meat, that will come out as the as the as the flesh starts to kind of contract a little bit. And if you're frying, I don't really know how that works out like that because I don't think those things are meant for frying, are they? That's all I use them for. That's the only I, way to got, really season a bird when you, you're. You've already done it with one of these. Well, an injectable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, every single time on the fryer, and you have no problem with it. Is no. that does that affect the quality of that oil? That injectable that comes out of there as it leaches out of the turkey is that is that an oil problem? I, I've been you, doing this. It had not sick at all. Forty. It's yeah. got to be over 50, 50 times. Yeah, you're fine. God dang. Well, you've cooked fifty turkeys. If you think about it, twenty years Thanksgiving. Like if I'm getting three birds, two to three times out of each oil. <laughs> and fried over turkey. Twenty years. There's Your no family. Let me tell you something. Rolling there's, the dice. There's no better way to cook one. Well, Jack, I there. just sent you the turkey injector marinade. Oh, you're very Thank good. you. There is no, no better way to cook a turkey than fry it. It is the absolute perfect way to cook it. it you can't get it juicier. You can't make it mm. faster. It is almost, it's almost like a cheat code. Yeah. It's so good. The skin tastes better. Everything about it's better. The one thing you don't want to do is brine your bird if you're going to fry do it. Do not do that. No, I no, no. made the mistake of doing that one. Yeah, day. and you got to pat it super dry before you drop it in there. Make sure it's not frozen at all. Yeah. You don't want any of that life. I brined it. It came out. It was jet black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> On the outside. Yeah, yeah, That, so we thought we ruined it. And every, for the first 10 years, my wife would also make a ham. <laughs> so we have case. the backup because you know it's rolling and dice. You never know, right? It's me, right? So, uh, <laughs> you know, she did, and every single time it worked. And the time it came out all black, it's like this was the year it, we're screwed. Peeled it off, cut it's it. Perfect. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the skin. Right? <laughs> it was yeah. so good. So it was just the salt and the brine that yeah, turned the skin black. Sugar, exactly. more than likely. I yeah. mean, do you have sugar in yours or salt? I don't remember. This was 15 years ago, and I didn't make the mistake again. Some of them have salt and sugar yeah. in it. It's the sugar that, like, burns like okay. that. You know, it, that goes with a lot of things when you cook them. People, like, cook ribs, and they load them up with, like, brown sugar and honey when they first put them in the smoker or cooker. I'm like, no, you can't do that, guys, because that sugar will just cook and start turning into, a, like, a crusty, uh, bitter. Almost like a molasses? Like a, yeah, like burnt sugar. It'll taste terrible. If you get that, like, I was just telling my daughter this weekend, she wanted to cook some baby backs. And I've got that 90-minute recipe that you can do with the oven that turns out perfect like every single time. I said the key is, though, lightly brushing some sauce on after they've cooked for 30 minutes and then understanding the last 30 minutes is when you put on your, your sauces if they have sugar or honey in there because you want to be able to maintain and watch the ribs. They're, the meat's going to be done, and it's going to be tender. What you don't want is you don't want that sugar in the, sp in the sauce burning and making a bitter crust on your ribs, which can yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, because you cook them at a higher temperature because you're only cooking them 90 minutes. Right, There's right. so much fat in baby backs, it's almost like you can't mess them up. They're, they're pretty darn good. Except for how expensive they are. Yeah, they yeah. are expensive. Texas, Texas says it's definitely the sugar that yeah. uh, makes a fried turkey black. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the sugar. The sugar burns, you know, it's you know, it's a fuel in itself, really. Um, you know, the salt's not going to do that because you can actually cake things in salt and cook them oh, with that. I love yeah. that. So, uh, yeah, I've done, I've done fish like that. It comes out pretty darn good. I've, I've seen had, people do prime ribs like that. I'm not doing that to a prime rib. I've had uh, my ex-husband's Brazilian cousins were here from Brazil. We were doing a barbecue, and they yeah. took all this kosher salt. And just started packing it onto the meat. And I was like, what are they doing? They're ruining yeah. like $80 worth of meat. Right. Yeah. It, that crust yeah. mm -hmm. trapped every ounce of juice. So that good. When they cracked it and cut that meat, it needed no sauce, no salt, yeah. nothing. I've had fish like that, too. It's pretty darn mm. good. You think it's going to be salty, but it's not. It's so, not. It may be a Thanksgiving Day-style meal this Sunday, but family's coming over. It's going to be my wife's birthday. No. Oh, yeah. happy birthday. Nice. Nice. We're the same age for 15 days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then it changes. All right, 407 916 Here's what I have for you guys. It's called, it's a video. It's uh, 57 minutes long. So I'm asking for all of the time this time. Oh, oh so man. this is uh, what you, your what you do that's This yeah. is my what you do that's new. I already sent the link oh, to Jack. That seems so depressed. <laughs> You're going to like this. All right. It's a video called One Man's Dream. And the guy's name is Ken Fritz. It's a documentary. And he's out to build the world's best uh, oh, 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 bicycle. Hot air balloon. No, no, no. Good one. Good one. Good Home one. stereo system. Oh. That was my next guess. So listen, <laughs> it's interesting. This guy gets obsessed with this, and you get to see him 
deal with his family as he spends this money on this thing and as he builds it. Okay. It's a complete obsession, and you should see this thing that he builds. 57 minutes long. It's on YouTube if you guys want to play along. It's called One Man's Dream. Jack will have it up at uh, uh, at JimCorporateLive.com. Yeah. It's a documentary about a guy whose quest was to build the very best the world's best home stereo system. It's in a building all, I mean, in a house, and it's in a room all to itself. Uh, it, there are pictures of it when he's going back. He just finished it. And there are pictures of his kids sitting in the room with their hands over their ears. Their kids are now like 35. In the photograph, they were nine years old. Oh, my god! He's been building this thing for decades. Decades. Have he has you committed to this. It? Yeah. The whole thing. Yep. Okay, because the topic seems like, well, that's something you can do in about eight minutes. No. <laughs> so I'm curious, is it the all 57 minutes necessary? You think it's a it, good It is, because you have to understand. The time. It, what, what it does is the, 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 the filmmaker is trying to kind of take you through an obsession. And the obsession is unique because, because I, think the, the, I think it's interesting because that's subjective. Right, you could take me and sit me in that room, and I could listen to it and go, I don't know. I got a buddy that's got a Mustang that's got a pretty good system in it. <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good. I do I like a, my Kenwood. I got a Craco radio. But when you listen to what he's talking about of how the system is designed to influ or enhance sounds from many different instruments, of course he's not playing. You know, uh, there's no Judas Priest going on the system. It's mostly classical music, classic blues, and things of that nature. And the whole idea is to pick up every single nuance as the recording was made and to reproduce that as accurately as possible to being a live experience. So this is more of a almost a psychological it, study it, than it anything is. else. Did, it did really they, is. Oh, that's interesting. Did they reveal how much he spent in it? And that's what we have to... Yeah, yeah he, don't tell us. He teeters you. around that a little bit. <laughs> okay, I I, I can't. Uh, remember does he kind of? Yeah, it? because I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, he teeters around a little bit. He doesn't want his wife to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's got its own you, room. I think she knows. Now I don't know. It, again, world's best doesn't necessarily mean the world's ex most expensive. Okay, because there are. Do you guys have any idea about the world of upper, upper, upper level? Home stereo systems. Well, what interests me about this is uh, hasn't the technology outpaced his design? I mean, if he's been working on this for over 20 years, how can it be the best when he was using material and ideas from 20 years ago? That's but, part of the unique nature of this gig. Yeah, and, uh, and also, but with audio, just think of that retro thing because it, we went to digital and then... Their audio files will tell you, no, the warmer sound of vinyl oh, and, yeah. and tubes and stuff. So. In that regard, technology advancing doesn't necessarily discount the system he's building yeah. or negate it. There are no CD players. Yeah. I'll just tell you that. Yeah. There, well, yeah. there is a turntable. I was going to say, he would not use CDs if he's looking for the nuance of every instrument. And I will tell you, this turntable looks like it was built from an a by an alien. Yeah. It is It's like nothing you've ever seen in your life. I, I mean, it doesn't even look. If I asked you, if I showed you a picture of it from afar and I said, what is that? The, I mean, if I gave you a hundred guesses, the last one, you wouldn't still get it. You still would never guess turntable. table. I've got a Bob Marley vinyl if the guy yeah, wants yeah, to right. hang. <laughs> yeah, these upper, upper level systems get into worlds like this where one speaker is a million dollars. One speaker is a million bucks. When you go, if you go Google highest level, most expensive speakers, there are names out there from audio companies you never even heard of. Most people believe the highest level is like Macintosh. Not the computer maker. There's a there's an amp maker and a stereo maker and a, and a component maker called Macintosh, and it's all tube driven analog, you know, receivers and amplifiers. But the sound is so pure and warm, you pour it into these big speakers. That's what most people think the high high level stuff is. There's another. There's levels. There's more levels. Well, it's just yeah. like with everything, you could easily spend, you know, eight to ten, fifteen, twenty million dollars on a home stereo system like. Like that, no right. problem. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. All that to hear my Don Johnson records? <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Let's take a little break. We'll come back and get, uh, you heard it here first, and we'll get the hell out of here on a Tuesday. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air.
Here's your midday weather update. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and we've got a sunshine-filled and hot afternoon ahead. The high temperature in Orlando, 87 degrees. Tonight, we dip to the mid-60s. Tomorrow, even warmer, upper 80s. And you know what? By Thursday and Friday, we're in the 90s. In fact, by Saturday, I'm expecting a high of 94 degrees. It'll be near record heat. But the good news, it's not going to be muggy. It'll be a dry heat, so somewhat tolerable. Good news for the Orlando Sanford Air Show over at Sanford Airport this weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. I don't know that I've had a client affect people like this before. The minute we started talking about these guys, we started getting feedback from listeners who were thanking us for the heads up because this life scan is no joke, guys. It is time to be the hero. Tell your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. And if you do have a family member you think could benefit from Life Imaging FLA and that free heart scan, you got to get them over there. I did this for my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. It was a no-brainer because I was standing next to my wife when my mother-in-law called to tell her that her heart scan was clear. She was fine. That relief, you could literally hear it through the phone. That's what these guys are all about. No dyes. You don't take off your clothes. No injections. This whole thing takes only a few minutes. And let me tell you, man, heart disease is no joke. You know, 30% of those cases, the very first symptom is sudden death. Don't wait. Do what I did. Call these guys right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value. Got to ask about their cancer screening as well. Just pick up your cell phone. Dial pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you got to do. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make this the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart Media. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. And now you're fresh from Florida forecast with our friendly Florida farmer, Phil. How's it looking in the fields, Phil? Fantastic. Florida blueberry season is here, and we've got a big blueberry front sweeping through. Expect a downpour of blueberries in your morning cereal, a good chance of blueberries in your afternoon smoothies, and a high probability of blueberry pies for dessert. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Phil. That's very good news. Look for the Fresh from Florida logo where you shop. There's sunshine in every bite. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storm and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Handyman Roofing to get it done. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting! Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone! 15-year-old water heater, place your bets! Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? Have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! That's the Frank Gay way. 
frankgayservices.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Are your energy costs through the roof? Call the company that has been in business for 20 years. FAS is now offering $500 off any window and or door project. A plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS or visit us at FASWD.com. We are also having a giveaway of $20,000 in window and doors with no purchase necessary. Necessary. To enter for the giveaway, go to FASWD.com slash giveaway. That's FASWD.com slash giveaway. Stay tuned to the Jim Colbert Show as we demonstrate our attitude of gratitude. Our thank you segment is sponsored by Life Imaging FLA. Now open. Call pound 250 keyword heart scan. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. You all right? Yeah, yeah. My, uh, you forget Mike, your name? Mike was having some ED problems there. <laughs> all right, 407-916-1041. Uh, welcome back. I am Jim, Deb, and Jack are here as well. Uh, Jimmy John's, you're a big fan, right, Jackson? Uh, Jimmy John's? Yeah, you like Jimmy John's? I've had it once. No, oh, just once? Yeah. Oh, you're, uh, you're like Jersey Mike's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. Jimmy John's is... It's uh, got Jersey in the name. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy John's is doing something interesting for 420, which is coming up here soon. <laughs> Today is the 16th, right? Yeah, so a couple days away. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy John's is selling a deliciously dope dime bag oh, to geez. celebrate 420. The goodie bag will include a stack sandwich, a brownie, and a weed rolling tray. <laughs> You're kidding. No, it says all available <laughs> through April twenty first. It's exactly they even have it on a um they even have it on a sign. It says use promo code Dimebag to score it all for only ten dollars. <laughs> says Jimmy John's getting real cheeky here on four twenty, offering free goodie bags to help you celebrate the right way. Sandwich chain is quote rolling out the deliciously oh. dope dime bag. A uh, specially curated meal aimed at uh, curing the munchies and to mark the highest of unofficial holidays. Like all those puns. That's right. Here's how you get one. Uh, just go to Jimmy John's. Uh, let's see what here. Order online only at a participating restaurant nationwide on Tuesday. That's today. Uh, through Sunday. A promo, ca- promo code Dimebag must be used at checkout to get the $10 meal. And you can find out whether or not your local Jimmy John's will be offering that uh, deal by checking whether or not your neighborhood restaurant has the offer listed on the menu. So I guess if you go oh. to jimmyjohns.com, find the area, Jimmy John's is near you, and find out exactly what is going to be in there. And I'd probably want to start with the website rather than calling the restaurant and going, so are you guys doing that dime bag <laughs> thing? <laughs> exactly. It says here, customers will get a curated combo meal that consists of a hand-sliced smoked ham sandwich along with provolone cheese, all the fixings including jalapeno ranch, extra oregano basil sliced pickles, crispy jalapenos, fresh sliced lettuce and tomato, a fudge brownie, and a bag of Jimmy Chips. And each component was meticulously selected to deliver a burst of flavor. (laughs) Jeez. Get it and head over to uh, Earth Day Birthday. Oh, Same yeah. Same day, this Saturday, 420, dude. Man, that's oh, wow. crazy. Is Stain, is Stain headlining that this year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Stain, Seether, Asking Alexandria, Day Seek. There's so many bands. There's like yeah, a yeah. dozen bands here. This is like how many years? 25 years for this thing? Uh, 30, 30? 30 years? 20, 35. God almighty, man. So 50? many. Uh, this weekend, it's always there. I Earth think Day it's birthday. 100th anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to be out there. Russ is going to be out there. Angel's going to be out there. Yeah, Angel is actually spinning there. Real Radio, we will have a chill zone. The acoustic, This is indoors. They're air-conditioned, which is good because I just heard uh, Brooks give us a weather report. 93 on Saturday. Yeah, toasty out there. Not as humid, but still hot. So we will have the chill zone, the Real Radio chill zone with AC. Angel will be spinning tunes, but they'll also have an acoustic stage in there. Russ will be there for a couple hours with his Triple R whiskey as well. So it's going to be – it's uh, JRR's Earth Day birthday. It's the biggest event that uh, that iHeart does here in Central Florida. It's huge, and it's it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's happening this Saturday. But there's a deal because, you know, how I'm always wanting to save money, and I'm always yeah. looking for <laughs> angles to save. Frugal. Your name is – you're from Frugal. Oh, okay. that's you know, his French name. There's a lot of uh, venues where you have to deal with Ticketmaster, and these tickets are available on Ticketmaster. We invite you to get them there. But 
if you want to save on Ticketmaster service yeah. cards, listening, and you got cash, you can go to Elixir downtown and get your uh, EDBD tickets for cash. They're ninety bucks each, but mm-hmm. you are seeing oh, so many bands. Oh, nice, and it, it's an event. It's an all day event. But it's uh, cash only, but you can get your tickets, no service charge. Yeah, yeah let me tell you and also. And that's saving some money. Let me tell yeah. you something, too. That's I'm going to say this quiet so nobody hears me. <laughs> it's one of the best people watching events you'll ever see in your entire life. It, Earth Day birthday? Oh, yeah. It's, Absolutely. It, it is a really good people watching spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for the social media content. A lot of scantily clad out there. Let's go. <laughs> Very scantily clad. How do you know what I'm wearing? Yeah. <laughs> so also, uh, now Elixir Downtown Orlando has uh, tickets, but also Jack's Fifth Ave in Lake Mary. Have oh, you ever cool. been there? Have not. Yeah, I've, I've been driven by it. Jack's Fifth Ave in Lake Mary. You can get your Earth Day birthday tickets there uh, for cash, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Check it out. Earth Day birthday coming up this weekend right there at the fairgrounds. Can't beat it. It's legendary for sure. Yeah, it yeah. is. If you right. want any details on it, go to WJRR.com slash EDBD. There you go. 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. E-D-B-D. I am Jim. Deb and Jack are here as well. Speaking of Deb, let's let's find out. Let's get you heard it here first. EDBD. It's time for You Heard It Here First on the Jim Colbert Show. I'll EDBD your EDBD. EDBD EDBD. So we're almost halfway there, more than halfway there. Seven jurors have been chosen for Donald Trump's New York uh, City trial, and things are ra- wrapped up for the day. Did he stay awake today? The jury selection oh. process will resume on Thursday until a panel of 12 New Yorkers and six alternates have been chosen. Trump's lawyers have had limited success, though, yeah. asking for juror disqualifications because of anti-Trump social media posts. Yeah, man. There's a, they had a real—I think they wound up dismissing dismissing like 90 of the jurors yeah. when it was all said and done before they got these seven. And I've heard everything from an oncology nurse to an IT professional. It's a, a very big mix. There's an, I think there's an Irish a business owner or something that's in there as well. I heard of an accountant who was originally from Texas mm-hmm. who said that, uh, you know, he tends to lean a little bit more Republican, so he didn't think he could be unbiased. So it's been on both sides of the aisle, and apparently people are being really honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I it kind of have to be, right? I mean, yeah, this is well, one of those situations. Not if you're, uh, what is it, Travis... Clayton, the guy who went on and said, "Do everything you can." Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like, Clay a- Travis. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, for okay. those seven we have people, his, we have his podcast, by the way. Yeah, just I, listen for the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, eventual jurors, but this is also an opportunity for them for a financial gain. Well, I mean, they can write their story, publish their memoirs, oh, yeah. and, and tell their story. However, there's also the other side of it where. Anyone associated with that, if you are not viewed as being in support of the former president, yeah. that can lead to some negative consequences by some of his people who follow him. As a matter of fact, I think one of the judges in one of these other cases told some of the jurors or some of the people who are involved with that case, you know, yeah, you have the right to go out and say what you're doing here. I would strongly suggest you keep this to yourself. Absolutely. Just yeah. ask uh, Ruby yeah, yeah. in Georgia. All right. A, uh, someone joked with us earlier when we talked about the Starliner Boeing you know, ship mm-hmm. that was uh, taken over the Kennedy Space Center. Someone quipped at 77031 if all the parts were going to stay on. Well, a veteran Boeing engineer and whistleblower says he became alarmed about the production of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Sam uh, Salapur told NBC News he raised concerns to his superiors about a number of issues, including, you know, a gap between parts of the fuselage. Okay. You know, that you don't want. Right, right, right. When you're 35,000 feet up in the air. Going 500 miles an hour. That are not up to even Boeing's own specs. Now, Salapur is scheduled to testify before a congressional committee tomorrow. God almighty, man. Yeah, there are problems. They're just. What a mess. They had like this safety seminar today, and it's like you got to get ahead of these stories. I still buy Boeing right now, though. And finally, basketball. Maybe now's the time to buy. I'm telling you, buy buy it right now. It ain't going nowhere, but I got bad news for you. Uh, Basketball superstar Caitlin Clark is racking up impressive jerseys. Jersey sales. Fanatics sold out most sizes in Clark's Indiana Fever jersey within an hour of her being selected by the team with the first overall pick in last night's WNBA draft. TMZ reports Clark's jersey became the top seller for a draft pick across all sports in Fanatics history. Meanwhile, last night's draft is the most watched broadcast of any kind for the league since 2000. Almost two and a half million viewers turned in. Clark will make her debut with the Fever next month. Yeah, she better be careful. There's a little bit of a mark on her head. A lot of people are already talking in that league about how they kind of want to, you know, they want that now she's the star. 
you know, she's going to get played hard against. They're going to double team her everywhere. So it's going to be a very interesting yeah. first season for Caitlin Clark. And hopefully they also come to realize, oh, a rising tide lifts all ships. That's right, yeah. And my career can actually benefit because of the attention she's right. now getting. Let's see if that ego can be tamed. Yeah. Because that's what it's going to take. And you heard it here first on the Jim Colbert Show. Thanks, Deb. Um, speaking of Deb, let's find out who we have to thank today. Well, we want to thank Sabrina from the News Junkie and her voice jammer. <laughs> this is definitely a podcast you're going to want to listen yeah, to for, for sure. today. And yeah, yeah. we were not drinking. No. <laughs> we also want to thank uh, Scott Brown with Edgewater Family Wealth. Don't forget to go to his website and sign up for his uh, two remaining seminars. And last but never least... Sam Bone and Candace Rich for running the YouTube chat. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. We appreciate that. We'll talk to Candace on Friday. Jack, do we have a question on the thing? In the YouTube chat, do you plan to grow some of your own food in the next year? Oh, God. Why? 8%. Really? Yeah, 8%. Wow. Well, YouTubers, I'm sorry Jimmy doesn't believe in you. 43%. Yeah, Whoa. get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, I got to tell you. What about herbs? I don't believe you. Well, that's on. Well, uh, it's food. Uh, uh. It's food, but you know what I'm talking about. Eat you're not it, getting, old man. You're not getting full. Eat it. You're not making. You're not making a parsley burger, okay? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're a one cherry tomato. You're not a farmer. I got bad news for you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All, All right, right Dad. Coming up tomorrow. Uh, no Scott Maxwell tomorrow. Aww. We will have Animal House. Who's in? We have Miranda Richardson <gasps> with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando talking kittens. Oh, very is, nice. Is she bringing kittens in? I uh, hope so. I'm going to text and beg. I'm going to ask for three kittens. So we oh, each get yeah, one. We'll, yeah. Because Jimmy's a cat. Yeah. And yeah. Jimmy's a cat guy now. Oh, yeah. yeah. He yeah, will be after guy. tomorrow. <laughs> All right. On behalf of Jack and De <laughs> Deb and Jack, I am Jim. We follow the news junkie. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, it's Tom and Dan with the corporate time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at three for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic Tuesday evening. Bye. See you tomorrow. I don't think so.